Bam. <laughs> oh, my God. Technology. Look at that. Actually, my shirt actually matched the countdown color. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm so branded. You are so branded. That's you are so in, into it today, man. Oh, yeah. So baby. into it today. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. All my, all my stuff seems to be working right. It and, is. Uh, we're looking good so far, man. It's Sunday morning and I'm sleepy. Can I tell you my maid story first? I finally got oh my a maid God. to come over. Well, first of all, it's welcome, everybody. Welcome to the big yeah, 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 yeah. Eight thirty in the morning in the world's most friggin' awesome city, Bangkok, ladies and gentlemen. Glad to have you along for the ride. It's Mike's from LiveMyAssOff.com and Jeremy from Do More Life. Boom, and he's going to tell us about. Okay, so what do you want? Do more, do more made. <laughs> that sounds really bad. Is that wrong? <laughs> Is that wrong? All right. Was I overstepping just then? Uh, no, I wouldn't say overstepping. I would just say maybe a little, you know, you know, a little, little something, something, something. Uh, right, but, but tell us from the moment a, she entered. Okay, from the moment she entered, she turned around and looked at the pe person that let, that knocked on the door, and she goes, "Huh?" <laughs> like that. I swear to God, she turned. Around and, she was. She was like, "Uh, oh, what? What?" <laughs> I mean, it was like this look came over her face. She she's a a, a, a Thai girl and she's Perfect. dark complexion, right? And she turned another shade of white. She and I was like, said, I thought the wrongs were not dirty. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, yeah, you know, just 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 it'd be all right, it'd be all right. you know. I maybe I'll pay you a little something extra. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. For you to yeah, stay. so the rate was actually good. It was two hundred baht an hour. Um, Jesus, nice work. Yeah. So good on the rate there. But how long was she there? Yeah, I'll, I'm getting to that. Twenty one hours. <laughs> I'll get there. You just <laughs> left, Mike. <laughs> See, uh, after after coming out of the bathroom in an hour and fifteen minutes, um. I decided I should probably get up and help her. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, was it just the one girl? She didn't bring friends? Yeah, there was not. I, I was so surprised, man. There was just, yeah. There was just one girl there. And like she was, uh, hello to everybody over on my channel. I see you guys over there. I love you guys. Thank you for being here. All that good stuff. Um, but she comes in and she did the job and right. uh, she cleaned. And I said, Okay, how much? And she said, three hour. <laughs> I said, so, yeah. That's so it? 600 baht. Yeah. Oh, free. What are you kidding me? So, I mean, really. I gave her, I gave her a thousand baht. Yeah. And the reason I did that is because she was literally scrubbing the floors. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, she was a... Uh, yeah, well, yeah, but she worked really hard, okay. and she didn't complain too much other than look at me and go, uh -huh. so yeah, right. <laughs> that was, yeah, that that wasn't so bad, you know, that wasn't so bad, but I gave Three her a thousand baht. That's not bad. Yeah, I gave her, I mean, for, what is that, $30? So for, yeah, 30, yeah. Yeah, but basically like thirty one bucks or something. I gave her uh, uh, to clean my apartment for three hours. So if you want to know how cheap maids are, um, not that there's not they're cheap people. I'm just saying like if you the service that they provide is cheap. Yeah, inexpensive. There you go, guys. There you go. So how do you find her? Did you just did you use Seeker? You guys do you know about nope. Seeker? I don't. I I went downstairs and, or actually, I text messages, text messages. I text messages, did, 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 did the office and uh, told them that I needed a maid and set up a time and they brought one up. And I was like, okay, cool, this works. And beforehand, they told you basically, look, dude, it's going to be two hundred baht an hour. No, beforehand, they told me it was going to be a thousand baht. Uh, flat, All in. and I was like. 
All okay. in, yeah. And I was and like, got a oh, studio. okay. I've got a studio. Now. How many? How big is it? Like 40, 40 square meters, something like that? 35? 20, 22 and a half square meters. 22 and a half. Yeah, so yeah. my place, actually, at first I thought it was kind of expensive, and then I thought, no, nah, I mean, at the end of the day, they've got to come in. 50, 50, I can't, 52, 56, something like that. Square meter, one bedroom, and uh, she's like 800 baht. And I was like, okay, that's, you know. Great. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I don't want to be here, you know. And so I'm thinking that probably, well, that's something we should talk about, actually, is, you know, travel, of course. But, um yeah. I'm thinking the next time I leave is probably going to be next Friday. So I was curious, uh, and we'll definitely get into the whole Phuket thing because I know that that is <laughs> top of mind for a lot of people. They're like, oh, my God, I've heard everybody can come to Phuket on October 1st. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but as far as the immediate uh, travel and this um, basically song cran replacement that starts next Friday, what's your mm -hmm. plan? Where are you going? Same place you you're going. Be, you get, you going to Patia? Yeah. I'm mm. going to go. Uh, when are you leaving? Thursday night? I don't, I don't know if it'll be a Thursday night leave or if it'll be a Friday morning leave. Because what I'm thinking is, is that I've, keep in mind, I've done this many, many, many times where I work all week and then get straight off work and go to Patia. Sure. Yeah. Uh, doorman says no, 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 no. I'm not sure. What yeah, I don't know. Okay. He probably just me. Well, he's elite. <laughs> he's elite. So I mean, we basically need to. I could kiss his oh. ring and all day long. Okay, <laughs> so um, pretty. The simple version is, I I'm more likely to go on Saturday morning, oh, and. Saturday. I, I mean, not Saturday, Friday morning okay. and stay Friday night, Saturday night, come back here on Sunday, have Sunday and Monday to um, edit because it has been, I don't even want to tell you how long it's been since I put out an actual video. I look before the show has been, it's, 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 it's a little bit embarrassing and uh, I need to put out, yeah, I've been doing the live streams. Uh, good morning, Kulis. But uh, that's I, great. Uh, that's who? Gracie's sister. Um, oh, Kools, okay. Yeah, Kools is the way that you pronounce the word curls in 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 Tagalog, apparently. Uh, and her son has very curly hair. So anyway, that is uh, oh. yeah, Marisol. And then so her and Gracie are obviously judging me. Fine. <laughs> That's funny. Hello, prep for it. Uh, Gordon, good to see you, man. Mr. Mitch. All the people who were in the chat. Anyway, so I'm thinking about going down to uh, sometime over the weekend. And my basic uh, whole, like, strategy for being there is just going to be uh, a reconnaissance mission. So <laughs> I, what are, I'm going. What kind of intel are you hoping to get? What, 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 you, you know, you know, Patea blindfolded. Like, what is yeah. exactly what are you going to? I mean, obviously, you miss your buddies. I get that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah, do you have so, a plan? It, it's different than normal. I do have a plan. It's different than normal. Um, part of the plan is um, looking, uh, or not looking, but exploring the normal parts of where I explore in Pattaya and see what they look like. Because I heard last night that um, I got an email from a guy that used to do a lot of work. Uh, not work, but a lot. He used to make a lot of videos in Pattaya. And he said that um, um, the girls that were, that were there as far as, the, because they're all like, they're all talking about the nightlife and the nightlife and the yeah. nightlife because it's got to come back, you know? So um, I'm going to go explore that and I'm going to ask and see, because he seems to think that um, no, none of the workers or drinking companions None of them are um, uh, uh, are there and miserable. They're uh, e even though money's low and you know yeah. they're they're not working a lot and that kind of thing. They're there because they're bored. They don't want to be at home. To a certain extent, I can see that because okay. you know most come from villages and that kind of thing. So I just want to go down and uh, do my own recon on it sure, and sure. Uh, yeah. you know and see what happens. And there then there's also a couple. 
uh, personal things I got to handle while I'm down there. And okay. uh, we'll see what happens with that. So. Right. I'm probably going to do well. So here's the thing. Obviously, <laughs> any degree of songkran in Pattaya would be busy like crazy. But again, yeah. we're in, we're, you know, hanging out with a bunch of COVID idiots. So there's <laughs> uh, the opportunity <laughs> um, for there not to be a lot of people, right? And so we get more beach to ourselves, as they say. But I mean, in your, what, what's your sort of uh, uh, opinion on the fact that, you know, obviously this is a, for, the ties have been talking about this long weekend for months. <laughs> yeah. So um, what do you think, uh, what do you think the tie schedule of travel is going to be? Um, I think Thursday the ties. I, I think the ties. Most of them will go Thursday night, and the remainder will exit Friday morning from Bangkok and from, uh, you know, other places. Right. Um, and we'll go down there, and there will be a lot of ties. I, I I'm sure. Um, okay. yeah, the foreigners. Um, you know, amnesty ended. So if you didn't get a, if you didn't get a visa. Um, while uh, the amnesty period was still in effect, then you, um, Jesus Christ, sorry. Is that, are those, um, are those all those PayPal's? <laughs> no, no, no PayPal's yet. By the way, did you put a PayPal link in the, the yeah, it's up or is that a different one? Hold on, let me change the crawl. Yeah, the short answer is, uh, I did. There you go. So, welcome to the Cool Kids Table, guys. Don't forget, uh, doodly forward slash do more PayPal. Uh, for Jeremy and to help the uh, channel fund for him. And then if you want to buy me a smoothie, buy me a smoothie.com. There you go. Perfect. Um, but I, I want to, what, I, what I'm really interested in is seeing how many foreigners are left. Like, uh -huh. uh, because if they went home at any point on a retirement visa during this, they're not come, they're not back, you yeah. know, unless they paid enormous sums of money to come back in. But yeah. they, um, or change some kind of visa or something like that. But um, I, I really want to see what the what the what the competition level is like, so to speak. Um, mm -hmm. You know, for um, I just want to I, I just want to get down there and and view everything. I want to get down there and see everything because it's been months since I've been there. And yeah, right, sure. Um, all that stuff. I just I want to be able to make some good videos and make some of my best videos have came out of uh, Patia, and mm -hmm. um, you know so most of them have been like walking on the beach, talking to the camera, uh, yeah. kind of thing. So I'm gonna see. Uh, I'm hopefully gonna get some good content while I'm there. I, I've got some ideas on what I you know what I really want to record. So what's we'll your see. preferred place to stay? Are is it LK? The one um, in inland, though. You don't stay at the LK right on the beach, right? Yeah. So I used to stay at LK. When I first started going to Patia, I don't know, a year and a half ago, two years ago, something like that. Um, when I first started going, I always stayed at I Rivers. Uh, it was a good spot. Mm -hmm. I got to know the owner pretty good, and he would put me, make sure I was on the backside of the, so that I wasn't um, staying slack. awake all night listening yeah, to music, right? right? Yeah. So he, he would put me on the backside, and I've stayed in just about every guest house and um, club there is to offer there in uh, LK. Just about all of them. I, now, if there are new ones, then I haven't stayed there. But Devil's um, Den. huh? Devil's Devil, Den. They don't have. They don't have guest house. <laughs> I don't think. Ah, uh, you're so close-minded. Define guest house. No, I'm teasing. No, no, I mean like a place where you stay overnight. They don't, they don't have a place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That place. Um, is Dev Devil's Den is a, is another. That's a that's a members only video. <laughs> that is absolutely. That is a nowhere else in the world entry. Hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. Um, hey, Matt Tech, but um, uh, I wanted to say that. So I started in LK, um, then I moved down, uh as one of my people who I thought was my friend at the time introduced me to walking street and, um, all of the, um, bars and go-go's and all that stuff there. Um, I got to learn about it. Um, right. what you uh, hanging out there or staying there? Like in the guest houses there? Cause that's loud. Well, okay. But not now maybe, 
But back so what then, I would do is I would stay off the like up in the um, off of Walking Street, like up up the soys. Oh, okay. The, right. Between like, so that and second and second road, yeah. So, like okay. so, <clears throat> I forgot the name of the club that was there. Um. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's a troll, by the way. Oh, um, is it? <clears throat> yeah. I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Hold on. Um, Good to but know. But anyway, yeah, yeah, he's a, he, he can't even spell damn right. So there you go. Um, mo- mo- most of them can't. Like I said, trolls need holes. That's just my opinion. But anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's. I mean, I, I would stay off to the side, um, like on um, the Soy Diana. I was going to uh, say Soy Diana. Yeah, that's a pretty. Yeah, in fact, they had. So, as, a, as an aside, that P and L that I mm-hmm. sent you, profit and loss. If you head up, if you head up Diana, it was the first one. On, I would see it was right before uh, Katui's RS. That's where it used to be. Oh wow! Yeah, it was right cool. next to that. Mm-hmm. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, so I stayed there, um, and I would stay in random other spots. Like I stayed down on beach road a couple of times, um, in the, like between the mall, about halfway between, uh, central festival and walking street itself. There's a, a you know, an array there of hotels. They're a little more expensive than I like to pay. But, okay. um, you know, I, I, it, it works out great because there's no noise. Um, certainly not now because there's not people out, even though the curfews, I think, has been lifted uh, to a, a later time. Um, it is what it is. There is I'm excited wait, about curfew. The emergency decree is still uh, they extended it another month. So that right. should carry a curfew with it. Really? Have you, I haven't seen anything published. Are people just like not talking about it because it's like at least midnight or something? Like, because I mean, I I think it's like I think it's like uh, they got it extended in Pattaya to one a.m. I don't know if they got yeah. it. Yeah, I don't know if they've gotten it to two or three. But the emergency decree is you know well, yeah. the blanket for Thailand. Yeah, so. for sure. For not sure. sure what's going on there. Matt Tech, I'll answer your question. So the short answer to your, your question is no, unfortunately. Um, what we need to do, we're going to switch Jeremy's channel to what's called the branded channel. And then with that, you can add people. And then I, we can add an account and then I can add it in. But absolutely, it's totally on the list, dude, because uh, we we both believe that it will add value. <laughs> And uh, so I have 100%, 100%. If you don't know, basically, the way that it works is that we each obviously look at our own channels, and then I actually also paid attention to the comments on Jeremy's channel, as does he with mine. So, trust me, if, if we miss anything, the short answer is, is if it goes off the screen, like I'm sure you did too, Jeremy, but I just say, look, just post it again because I'm not intentionally <laughs> ignoring you. Trust me. Um, exactly. Uh, so. I want to catch a couple yeah. comments. Hey, Dino, yeah, yeah. first and foremost. Sure. Fab, uh, or Fabe, excuse me, uh, good morning. It's been a long time since I've seen you, bud. I uh, hope you're doing well. Thank you, Robert, for th- putting up the PayPal link. I may, I, don't, I had a short day yesterday, so I hope that uh, we recover <laughs> today um, short in on the PayPal. Short in amount. Uh, short in amount. I yeah. had uh, 25, 25 on PayPal and five on the Super Chat. So, okay, so that we're was, looking for uh, 75 on PayPal today, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, 75 and PayPal. Um, and then uh, Teespring store. Yes, uh, you can buy masks, coffee cups. I've got all kinds of merchandise over there. T-shirts, hoodies, um, socks. I got all kinds of stuff. Stickers. Boxers. Uh, you can go over there help support the channel. I may have boxers on there. It's been a long time. I need to go over there and do a take a day and just do a redesign. Get a nice garter. That would be good. Say again? A, a nice garter? garter. Garter, yeah, that might be nice for Patia. Bring that down. Hey, baby, how'd you like to do more life? Yeah. <laughs> that, would, that would be awesome. Ty Z says, I rovers better, hard as a rock, but they do have the best location. I personally didn't have yeah. a problem with the beds, um, but they did have, they are a great, or our rovers is in a great location and they have a great staff. Um, the, that Swiss I, restaurant. I, 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 say again, Mike. They'll have 99 bot breakfast. 
Uh, yeah, I, I believe they do, as far as I know. Yeah, um, Dino, hello, my friend. Soy Tan means see me spring hotel franchise and yeah. stay hotel. Uh, have, Toasted have Waffle says. Spring? That's a pretty good one, actually. I've been there. <laughs> Toasted Waffle says, nice blue polo to the gentleman on the left and nice hat, Jeremy. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, William says he's talking to his friend in Bangkok. She says no curfew in Bangkok. Well, if that's the case, then they changed the emergency decree um, to include no um, curfew. I don't, you know, maybe maybe that's true. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. But I do know that um, without the emergency, without the emergency decree, like what other purpose does it serve other than saying you have to have a mask on? Well, don't forget, the reason that they put it in place is so that basically the law enforcement can make rules off the cuff that they normally wouldn't be able to. That's sort of the That's blanket good. reasoning behind it, right? Um, the good news yeah. is, is that I don't see them really sort of taking advantage of that. It, I mean, in other words, they're not um, overstepping their bounds, at least in Bangkok and, and where I'm at. But yeah, I think for a while there, it, it changed to close at 1 a.m., open at 4 a.m., Right. But I mean, yep. you know, the clubs around here, they don't. <laughs> I, I talk to guys, <laughs> they're like, look, did you, it, you don't show up until like 11 p.m., sometimes midnight, you know, if you're going to like Sing Sing or Levels or something. And um, right. Which I got to do, by the way, because if you don't know, I adore, like, you love planes, right? Yep. I love audio and video productions that are just over the top like when i go into a mm -hmm. nightclub and i'm like okay they spent like four million bucks on this whole thing i'm just so impressed with that <clears throat> now the downside is that the way that djs work now on the way unlike the way they used to work like 20 years ago is you you know 20 years ago i just go up they talk to you know i start talking to the guy like we would you know now no way there's like a line of girls like oh my god let me touch the dj I'm like damn it i got into that business too late I would have loved to have been touched. That would have been excellent. Oh, my God. <laughs> <clears throat> Curfew in Phuket and Pattaya, says William. Okay, fair enough. Do you know the hours, William? Is it one to four that it's closed? That would be, it, that would be uh, good. I'm, I'm reading the uh, Pattaya news right now, trying to see if I can see anything about that. You know, you know something I've noticed, and I hate to say this, but I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this. But um, Not on my channel, <laughs> more details on the proposed upcoming Phuket model for foreign tourists released uh, will be trialed in other tourist areas as well. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, uh, we're gonna talk. Yeah, yeah we're gonna talk about that in, in just a minute. Uh, Let me answer tour, that tourism. Text. The short answer is no. It costs nothing to set up Teespring. Yeah, that's right. Um, so the Tourism Authority launches a new tourism campaign, uh, which white best signify high levels of customer service and training. Um, oh, wow. Stunned after homeless person eats ice cream while recording on video. That's, I don't know. Okay, so here's, here's what I've noticed. And... Like I said, I hope it doesn't give me in trouble. It shouldn't. It's because it's the news, right? Pattaya has become a rough city. Um, Define rough. Crime. Crime. Um, there has been, I, I have looked and I, I get the Pattaya news every day, right? Sure. And every day um, somebody dies. Uh, you know, uh, there was there for about two weeks. It was old British men that were that had their hands tied behind their back, but somehow mangled, uh, managed to uh, put a plastic bag over their head. Uh, yep. You know, and then it, then it was people falling off balconies again. We affectionately mm -hmm. know as the Pattaya Flying Club. Um, yep. And now it's uh, same thing: people dying, people dying, and but it's more in the car crash and bike crash scene now is what I'm seeing move over. And I'm like, when it was packed and, and everybody in, you know, the tourist season was high and all that stuff. When they came in, bro, I, I never had an accident in, uh, Pattaya. I never had a problem with any, anybody in, uh, Pattaya. 
Well, um, you do tell that one story about when you had to get the heck out of that bar. Real oh quick. yeah, 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 yeah. That that one, but that was that was such a quick. That all happened in a matter of probably I don't know. Tw- yeah, yeah, no. I mean, I'm not saying. Yeah, all I'm saying is like it happened. Like, I mean, I, I've. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, 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 yeah. Like once, but you know. Yeah. But yeah. as far as the accidents go, that's one thing. For guys ending up with like a plastic bag over their head. Okay, that's not just some random. Hey, dude, give me your wallet. No, I don't have any money. Okay, then wear this plastic bag. There's yeah. <laughs> do they go into detail in the news on the reasoning behind that because I would submit. No, of course not. Okay, well, so then. Okay, so the blanket statement of crime is higher, which is kind of where you were going with it. Mm-hmm. Um, do you think it's more like crime focused on is higher? In other words, are these I other think- people breaking the law to begin with? I think that when I say crime is higher, I don't the the blanket statement. I'm 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 meaning that I, actually I don't think. Well, I did say crime. I'm meaning that I'm seeing more negative news news and more negative things to come out of uh, Patia than I ever have before. So um, you know, I I just that's just something to keep in the back of my mind. I'm sure. Um, it'll lighten the load because my, you know, my theory is these people that initially, uh, when they opened the city back up, these people that initially, um, were found to be suicides, Mm -hmm. (laughs) suicides, um, yet, you know, were, uh, people that owed, uh, other people a lot of money. And you heard about that in Bangkok, right? That British guy that he owed a ton of money, his business completely tanked and he committed suicide. Yeah. Yep. Yep, so, I, heard that. <laughs> I mean, you know, look, you could argue that that's going to happen anyway. I mean, there's a heck of a lot more that's happening. Like, I mean, you know, the, right. The crash of uh, 20, 2008, 2009, the infamous picture of the guys, you know, jumping to their death in, you know, the Great Depression or when, the, you know, so that's happening. But I mean, are you seeing a whole lot of data on violent crime? Uh, not, not a ton of that. The, the data on violent crime that I saw yeah. was in the beginning. Um, okay. like what I was talking about. So now it's more petty stuff, right? It's a robbery here or a, um, um, and it's exactly. the good thing. The good thing is it's not really foreigners doing it. Right. Um, so, uh, at least not according to the reports. So is it foreigners being victims, uh, no. some foreigners have been victims. Okay. Um, but there are, it seems to be an equal, equal number of, um, you know, nationals and, and non-nationals now seem to be being victimized by probably certain people that, it, and this is just a educated guess from a former life I had, um, you know, that either have an uh, addiction problem or have some type of, um, real, real strict need for money. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're, you know, they're, they're, they're getting it, um, whichever way they can. Alpha is back. What's up? He joined the channel yesterday. Good to see you, man. Uh, thank you for coming back in. Big Steve says, not as rough as America. That's true. Uh, it depends where you go. I mean, you can't just say that America, <laughs> all that, 335 yeah, million. I mean, where I live, dude, <laughs> there's zero yeah. crime. So <laughs> I, yeah. I get it. Uh, where I lived, uh, that was virtually zero crime. So I, I get it. I get it. Mm-hmm. And there is, uh, Cesar, any news on the bubble? Where That's a good segue. We're going to segue right into that. Good morning, yeah. Stuck. And Frank yeah. says, JC, can you see this all from your couch? I'm sitting on my couch right now. Um, <laughs> so I hope, um, uh, uh, he can see me. See, he, the Philippines mountain man right there, when he's talking about the scooter in the Philippines, yeah. uh, he's a troll. He's a troll because that story has been debunked, dethroned, and everything else. That's a direct ta- uh, attack on yeah. me, and it does not exist. All right. It should be gone. There we go. I think I did. Came I think I did right thing. The problem is, is that inside of StreamYard, you know how you can't really push that like that. So, but I can at least do it on YouTube. It shouldn't show up anymore. Now, it should be gone. 
Um, okay. So to the bubbles, I mean, obviously they're not called bubbles any longer, right? They're the the label of this sort of you know new uh, initiative uh, is called the uh, the Phuket Project. So tell me what you know about that, because I would submit again. You get the data every day. You're doing a lot more research. What is your sort of give me the give me your uh, your ten minutes on. here. Here's my understanding, and uh, you can clear it up. Okay. Uh, my understanding is if <clears throat> you're going to come from a selected, uh, nation, right? One that Thailand has, uh, selected and, um, you're going to come over and you're going to do all your medical stuff in your home country, get your fit to fly. Um, then you're going to come over and you're going to do a 14 day queue here. You're going to stay 30 days in uh, minimum. minimum. Yeah. You got to stay at least 30 days. Um, and I think that is um, um, not going to happen because essentially you're going to be confined to a resort or whatever for 14 days. This was my initial thinking on it. Okay. Because initially when they came out, they said, okay, you're going to be confined to the resort for 14 days. And then for like five days or seven days, you're going to be confined to this area of Phuket. And then for the remainder of the time, you can get the whole island. Right. So that was the initial, that was the first report. This was weeks ago. Okay. All right. What I heard the TAT quote or one of the one of the um i won't say a, a minister but uh, an official from the tat reported that uh er, what we already knew which is um that's not going to work nobody is going to want to go through um you know flying 16 17 hours granted some of these people may be coming from other asian countries and may not be that long of a flight or whatever but nobody's going to want to fly in here and be confined to a resort for 14 days. It's just not going to, it's just not going to happen. The, the tourism authority admitted that and are looking at solutions to, um, uh, disavow that, that uh, disavow is not the right word, but, uh, modify, I, modify. That, that's what I'm looking for. Modify. So, uh, um, <laughs> so sorry, the, I'm data, sorry. That, the data that i heard was uh yes you're gonna have to come and do the 14-day quarantine um uh, yes you're gonna be locked into the resort but these aren't these aren't lousy resorts like they have their own beach and, and that sort of thing are the ones that they're targeting secondly one thing that actually i i really really appreciated from it's thai things that channel she was she is a tour guide and she was also a reporter and that sort of thing. So she's able to get data from multiple sources, which I really appreciate. She always clarifies that, like, look, dude, this whole 14 day quarantine thing, you're staying 15. Like, let's be clear, like that's going to be you need to stay on the 15th right. night before you've done yep. 14 Two uh, swabs right at the beginning. And then you get to travel within one kilometer radius of your resort in Phuket. Seven days later, you get a third test. And at that point, three weeks into your basically minimum 30 day vacation, you can then basically go throughout Thailand and mm -hmm. stay for as long as you can. You're permitted to stay um, again, as far okay. as the whole the average person's not going to cruise over. Well, that's the point. <laughs> they don't want average people coming. They want people that are wealthy and because they're not opening up international flights in general to do this. The way right, you get in right. is a charter or private plane. So right. as we were talking about last time, now I also heard that come November, uh, yes, no, this all potentially starts October 1st. I heard that starting in November, Thai airways has got basically five cities, countries that they're flying people in from. And so that's like I South that. Korea. I have not read that, but I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and so that was that was sort of encouraging. Um, I'm guessing, again, that the people who can come in for a minimum of 30 days, um, you know, I mean, I, you pr 
Yes. And maybe, I mean, I'll tell you like, I mean, when I would come here for Christmas break, basically, I would normally stay for just up to 30 days. In fact, the second time I came to Thailand, I ended up getting a, uh, a B visa because I'm like, I'm my, my plan was to stay 33 days. And I'm like, I'm no in no mood at like day 27 to have to do the 1900 bot and go to the thing. So I'm just going to get like a 90 day stamp in. So, I mean, I think a lot of people are doing that. But again, that's the point, right? They want this finite subset control group to be able to monitor because I think they're pretty clear that there's going to be new cases. I mean, even if you like test, you know, you may come in and, and you're, you're just a carrier. So I think that they're going to test for that. But I completely agree with the people from the tourism board, of course, because they're like, OK, look like this is what we do. We do tourism for a living. And, you know, but you know, they're also not going to allow people that, to come in from the U.S. And quite frankly, I can't blame them. But to be fair, you're also getting a test even before you get on the plane, you know, so you could argue, look, it doesn't matter where you're from, you know, you're being released medically and therefore you're safe. So, um, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see. Do you know when they're going to do an update? Are they going to do another update Tuesday and then it goes out with the uh, with the cabinet meeting? Know. I think it'll be a, I think it'll be it'll be a Monday or Tuesday meeting, and then the following day, uh, I'm sorry. Give me one second, Mike. I got I just got a message regarding over on my stream. Nine uh, months. Visas. Nice. Go ahead. Yeah. What's up? Um. Okay, we'll talk about that. Um. At a, at a later time. Um, so, what were we, what were we saying again? I'm sorry, that one just threw me for a loop. <laughs> did you take your ADD medication this morning, or did you? Yeah. Or, or is it the tea? Is it the tea? I Tell think us it's the tea. Goddamn tea. <laughs> I told I, I told about the tea yesterday. You know, I finally uh, got some right. tea. Yeah. Yeah, and I you're did little, that on like what, like three three to five kilos per day. I mean, this is pretty amazing tea. No, I, I lost I lost like two kilos last week just just from drinking tea instead of drinking. I I, I only drank two small cans of Coke uh, oh. a day, and yeah. one of the apple things that I drank. And so because and the only reason I drank those was because the sugar crash from all my life drinking sugar and not having any sugar was okay. like. Well, yeah, but what else do you eat? I mean, is that the only way you get refined sugar is through Coca-Cola? I mean, do you eat like, you know, sandwiches or I mean, you're getting it somewhere else. Yeah. Or do you just. Drink uh, yeah. Well, I, I'm getting it in, I guess, what I eat and then. Sometimes in what I drink, uh, I, I think I'm still drinking some sugary things, but not very much. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's cool yeah. if you can eliminate that stuff. I mean, shoot, dude, if all you do is like not drink Coca Cola and drink water, you're 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 on the right path, right? I mean, that's yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's basically what I'm doing. Um, it, it's just tea instead of water, and it has a lot of extra benefits to it as well. Um, okay. I noticed I noticed some things with my uh, body um, as all this has been going on, and there's never been. Uh, I felt better last week than I felt in a long time. So nice. um, that was a, a very good feeling. I have to say I was very, very impressed. I flashed on something uh, basically based on your, your label of reconnaissance down in Pattaya. I think one of the huh? things I'm going to do when I'm down there is talk to is local ties, you know, that aren't like working six, seven days a week, that sort of thing, and actually have some time to travel. I'm going to be really curious how many of them have signed up for We Travel Together, right? The program where you basically get vouchers and you get, you know, credits or not credits. I'm sorry. You get reimbursed for basically the money that you spend on domestic travel. Because, I mean, when that program came out, I mean, I was watching the website the day before you could even sign up. It wasn't even functional. And I'm like, oh, my God, the ties are going to like rush into this thing and they're going to sign up for it. And then all of the foreigners are going to be like, oh, my God, I got to find a Thai friend and I got to travel with them so that I can get this epic discount. And it doesn't seem like it's real popular. I mean, do you have Thai friends. Are they like talking about this? Oh, Jeremy, come on with me. I can't wait to do that. I can get us such discounts. Forty percent on travel, 80 percent off on hotels. Are you hearing any of this? Is anyone probing you for this? Uh, no, I, there's no. No. 
I, I'm not hearing any of this right now. And um, the most of what I am hearing is uh, is not <laughs> is not a lot of not a lot of love uh, being shared out in the uh, um, for me. Dude, what, uh, what is uh, everything okay? Um, actually, I may need to take just a little break. Mike, why don't you take over for a second? Absolutely. Not a problem, my friend. Totally. Take take, take over for a second, bud. Thank you. All right, good. Yeah, so one of the things that I was curious about is about this We Travel Together. And, you know, Dion, to that point, I also saw your previous comment where you were talking about um, uh, being down in, in Phuket. Now, I... I, I read it quickly, so I, I don't know whether you, what you said is, hey, I'm in Phuket now, or I'm heading to Phuket. But the article in the, ti- the Tiger, I actually have a lot of respect for. Um, and so I like the articles there. I love that. I love the sort of the guy. I don't know if he's like the managing director or whatever, but I really like the guy that does the videos. And if they're saying that they're considering allowing Europeans here for up to nine months on holiday visas, that's as far as I know, that is a totally new kind of visa because the visas that I know about basically are you can come in for 60 days. You can extend that for another 30 days, This the tourist visa, and the visa is valid for six months. I don't know of any visas that stamp you in and allow you to stay nine months unless, of course, you're talking about something that, no, 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 Mike, what this is, is this is a this is a visa that allows you to physically stay here six months and then they're coming up with this program that will allow you to extend for another 90 days or something like that because that's really pretty interesting, right? I mean, if they're considering like, look, we should come up with this whole new visa because if you, you know, one of the visas that is newer, right, are these smart visas, and that wasn't trivial. I mean, again, there's a there's a very uh, it, it's more than just one department that is dealing with that visa. Right. So you've got BOI, you've got, you know, more investment that's coming down. So anyway. And uh, oh, OK, awesome. Wait, let me see this. Just down in Phuket near Bangtao Beach. Oh, dude, I love Bangtao Beach. That was just so awesome. I'm a big fan of over there. That's cool. Um, and then Todd's talking about saw a 90 day tourist able to extend it twice in country. Where'd you see that, Todd? I'd love to be able to quote that article. That's cool. And then, Jeremy, I can hear you. So if you need to just come back in, you should let me know. Um, and then I'll add you to the screen if you're done doing whatever you're doing. Um, I am here. Oh, my God, dude. Dave is here. All right, Dave, hold on. Today's Sunday. Tomorrow you're getting married. What are we doing tonight, dude, for your bachelor party? We're going to go out and have, like, a steak? <laughs> because I know you're like me. You're not like, ah, no, Mike, I don't want to go watch strippers. Like, that just doesn't... <laughs> Like, whatever, dude, I'm getting mad. See, and you know, if you think about it, it's actually pretty interesting that the ceremony is right before you get married, go out and engage in the maximum amount of debauchery. (laughs) I mean, if you think about the logic behind now, I understand the whole. Yes, but now I'm going to be only with one woman. Right. So therefore, I need to go and sow every single wild oat that I've got in my backpack. That I've, that I've basically carried for me for the last several years. I'm going to go out and, you know, go crazy. And then, of course, you know, the movie Hangover becomes basically the the project plan, you know, for a lot of guys. But uh, anyway, I want you guys to absolutely give a big hand over to Dave. He's got the uh, and 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 yes, last night on the on the live stream, I shared Foreigner Joe's channel. Go to Foreigner Joe and uh, check out the recent uh, interview with Dave there. From God, who is also got to love Thailand. So I, so good question, walking. So um, I am anticipating I will go down there Thursday night um, because I'm one of these guys. I like to get to pretty much everywhere early. Additionally, I have no like time. Like in other words, I don't have to like get down there and, and get back for like any sort of reason. Um, so I'm probably going to cruise down on the bus. So, I, and I don't know whether you're asking that because you're here. Remind me walking. I think you're physically in Bangkok. Is that true? But if you are, let me know, dude, because it might be cool to just like, you know, hang out and hook up because it would be cool to, like I said, you know, ask some ties, say, hey, who are you? Uh, who are you? Right on, Andy. Good for you. Um, the, the, you know, what are you guys doing as far as this we travel together thing? Because, you know, it's interesting. I don't see more than about 50 percent of the ties. Well, it depends on the venue, but I don't see more than about 50 percent of the ties doing the QR code check in. I see a lot of older ties filling out the clipboard where they like put their name and their telephone number and stuff. So MedTech says it's beyond my imagination that people would have time and money for a six to nine month vacation. Well, okay, that, that that's fair, but you got to remember that, um, you know, that's, it, it's, it's very possible. 
But again, it's not just the majority. I mean, if you think that the majority of the, don't forget the majority of the tourists that would come over to Thailand were Chinese, okay? Thai Chinese are actually quite wealthy. Um, and th so, because, you know, there's this hierarchy, right? And so they're the ones, Japanese, Thai, that sort of thing. They're the ones that actually have the cash. Um, my favorite guy is named Juan, who owns the number one bar. Really? In what? In in Phuket? In Bangtao? I don't know any of the bars in Phuket. I mean, I know like a couple of places. Well, I know the ones like that Rob does on his channel, just because I was like staying in Kamala. I was right down the street from that. So I went over there, you know, and but those bars don't, don't really interest me. We did go to this epic burger place. And if you follow me on Facebook, then you saw when I checked in over there. Uh, did they do Hangover 4? I don't know anything about more than I think Hangover Part 2. Part 2 was the one they did in Thailand, right? I think that was the only one that I really sort of found out. I'm back, I'm back. Oh, okay, awesome, buddy. Cool. Let's do... Boom. Sorry about that, guys. Sometimes you just have to stop in the middle of everything and uh, handle some business. It's <laughs> good. It's good, absolutely. So anyway... So the thing that I was saying is, you know, I'm curious to go down to down to Pati and like see if I can find some uh, see if I can find some locals that are taking care of this. We travel together. Um, well, the we travel together is is for ties, right? Not for foreigners. Correct. OK, well, again, yes, you're accurate in the sense that like those are the only ones that can apply for the program. But I mean, if you accompany a Thai person who makes the reservations and takes care of everything, then that big bucket of cash is basically what you can get reimbursed on. Now, up till now. Ah. They were able, like, for example, so let's say you have a Thai girlfriend, right? She calls up the hotel or actually even through Agoda. Like when I open up the Agoda app, you know, the pop ups like, hey, Mike, save 75 percent. The the pop up. In fact, it may even happen right now. I can see. But the pop up that usually shows up is like, hey, don't forget, there's this we travel together program. And right. uh, and uh, yeah, absolutely. So here you go. So um, this is an example of it. So you book your holiday, but use TT T together subsidy and get 40 percent off. Because that's exactly wow. what's happening now, to be fair. <laughs> I can look at just any hotel and the majority of them are like 75% down. Right, right. I don't know if you're still getting 40% off of that. I mean, that would be pretty tight. Um, but nonetheless, yeah, I definitely want to I want to figure that out. But yeah, the reason I found out about it is because a buddy of mine was down in Koh Phangan, uh, Koh Chang. And he was there with a Thai friend and she made all the reservations. And he's like, oh, yeah, I'm staying in this. Like, normally it's a 6,000 baht a night place, you know, and she's going to get all this money back. And I'm like, well, right. But I normally stay in like 1,500 baht places. And those are also on sale, like 60% off. You know, I'm like staying at the beach for basically no money. But wow. anyway, so, yeah, that I'm should be pretty good. Go to your comments because I got a bunch I got to get to here. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Gordon says lots of YouTubers traveling with their Thai girlfriends right now. So uh, I guess um, that that that's good confirmation. Then uh, Big Steve says yes, Gordon. There's three of them together in Rayong at the moment. Uh, couples he's talking about. So also, yeah, um, I agree. I guess taking advantage of that uh, very much. Batch, nice. Pat, that's a great way to put it, Mitch. Patia is a bachelor party without the wedding. <laughs> it's just great. It just never ends, right? You never have to wake up the following morning and commit. It is. I'm. I still want to figure out. Like, I want to do some uh, a deep dive research into this whole Phuket thing because if it changes in, I just don't. Here, here's here's my. My two and a half, two two years and a couple months experience in Thailand. Okay, everything changes constantly, and when I say everything changes, I'm not, I don't mean that in the cliche type. Like, uh, you know, life life is all about change, and change is what stimulates life, and that kind. That's not what I'm talking about. I love I'm talking change. about. I, oh, I love change too, but I'm talking about um, like laws and. Um, uh, what you can and can't do and policy and stuff like that changes here in Thailand, sometimes overnight. And oh, yeah. yeah. So, so there's a lot of ifs when it comes to, I've, I personally have found that if they let you, um, for example, when they, op when they reopen uh, Pat uh, Patea city, when they mm -hmm. reopen that, Yep. Um, 
I went to go a couple weeks after it was reopened, and they were like, no, no, you're not coming. Sorry. <laughs> so what? Based on what, what did, like, did you get to basically the border of the province and then they wouldn't let yeah, you go? Yeah. Into yeah, yeah, I got to the border. I got to the border Chambery and they were like, oh, no. well, that's why. Well, I mean, Pattaya City is I mean, obviously not, 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 not Chai, I'm sorry, not Chambery. I got to I got to where you make the, uh, the left, right. depending on whichever direction you're coming from. Right. Yeah. Uh, to go into uh, Pattaya City. And there was a checkpoint there yep. and I had private taxi like normal um and he was like uh the uh, immigration guy was like nope and i said uh, anything is there any reason i told asked the guy the taxi driver was like is there any reason he said uh he talked to the cop he said no you're just for rain. he said no did you have a so reservation i did i had a reservation at a hotel i showed him the booking yeah um Great. At, at, the ho at the hotel and he said no and I was like, because one of my one of my friends that's now back in America, um, one of my friends was there at the time, and I was going to stay at the same hotel that he was at, and um, I was going to see him because they, he got he got stuck in uh, uh, Pattaya when the okay. city closed down. Like he, he was there through the whole for like three and a half four months, right? Yeah. And um, yeah, and you know he. I was excited to get to go down and see what it was like. Mm -hmm. um, but I went back two weeks later and, you know, they let, they, there was no uh, checkpoint that I saw yeah. or anything like that and got back in. That was just no, another one of those weird experiences that you have to get used to having uh, here in Thailand, in my, in my opinion, you know? Yeah. I mean, you probably experienced this. And if you guys, it, here's the here's the summary I'll give about what Jeremy is talking about experiencing. The people on the ground that interface with the, directly with the customer, a lot of times they're not instructed on what to do accurately, basically by their boss. There's a very limited uh, procedure that occurs as far as training. Um, the, got, the boss will know what's going on, and a lot of times they either will intentionally or unintentionally not let their workers know about it, or they won't know about it correctly, and rather than you know lose face potentially, they won't even share any news. And so, unfortunately, as someone who interfaces with these, with these you know, frontline people, that occurs at AIS, that occurs at you yeah. know, malls. You know, the guy that like clicks his heels together and salutes you coming into the mall. Oh, my God. I got a super sticker. What are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Really? Nico Grico. I love Nico Grico. He's the first guy to ever give money to my channel. Up top, buddy. Super sticker. <laughs> Nico Grico. That's a good one. I like that. Todd talks about Frankfurt and says that right after July, it starts getting with shorter days and colder. So, I mean, I get that the longest day of the year in the Northern Hemisphere, right, is June 23rd, 24th kind of thing. Um, yeah. Or is that right? June or July? Yeah, it's June, right? Summer solstice. And, um, but man, even right after July, because I know that's one of the reasons that I do not like New England in the fall. Because, I mean, dude, by December, it's getting dark at like 4 p.m. But, uh, but I can see, and that's a good point as far as Frankfurt go, because again, you know, it seems like there's a potential that they're going to, i.e. the article in the Tiger, they're going to come up with this special nine-month possible visa for folks from Europe to basically extend their hotels, or not their hotels, but their um, their vacations in Thailand. And don't forget, again, they're coming up with this Phuket project because they're like, look, we want to we want to intentionally make this a very small number of people, right? Because they want to do a test sample, basically. Yeah, absolutely. And again, yeah. they want to, and that's why they're doing it in Phuket. They're not like, oh yeah, yeah, just come to uh, Isan. <laughs> no, you never. Yeah. You're not gonna check right. into your neighbor's farm in Isan, you know. So yeah, well they they always they talk about um um they talk about like like doing this. I read that comment. So that's, that's funny. Um, but uh, the baby steps uh, says Todd, and he's right. But the uh. Originally, it was going to be, you know, the Five Island Project or whatever, whatever. Yeah, right, um, right, 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 yeah. So now they've decided to just do Phuket because um, that would be the the best. You know, everybody's on an island. You're confined. You can't you, you can't uh, swim the ocean to the 
clear blue yonder in the, the <laughs> Gulf of Thailand and, you know, and, and uh, uh, redistribute everything uh, there. So um, I understand the excitement behind it. I understand uh, Phuket. Somebody made a comment about Phuket businesses are excited. Well, I would be too because you're yeah. going to be getting business for the first time in a long time, right? Um, for sure. So, uh, but you have to remember, now, please keep this in mind, gentlemen and ladies, if you're watching. Phuket is is one of the most expensive places in Thailand, um, in my in my opinion. Yeah, uh, yeah based, sure. based on everything that I've uh, ever read or seen about it, I haven't been there, but I've watched a lot of videos on it. I've watched a lot of people talking about prices um, in Phuket, yeah. and it's expensive. And then if you want to go out to the island, like I think Rob lives on uh, Kamala, I think uh, that's probably yeah, we'll yeah. yeah 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 i think that's probably one of the most expensive areas uh of that phuket region uh well it's i mean in other words where he lives it's very inexpensive where i stayed it was you know pretty inexpensive but yeah i mean look here there's 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 sections right in other words you could say uh -huh. bangkok is fairly reasonably priced you and i have every but i mean if you cruise over near lumpini <laughs> <laughs> yeah you, you go down chit Lom, dude between between sukhumvit and basically saracen which is the road that runs east west to the north of lumpini park i mean dude you're paying like fifty thousand baht for a one bedroom i mean these are right. these are and, but the streets are ridiculously clean you know but a cup of coffee is like you know 350 that sort of thing yeah <laughs> uh, but i agree with dion the prices are reasonable now for sure I mean, I was staying like right on the beach for basically like a thousand baht. Um, wow. And uh, the, um, you know, the, the massages and that sort of thing, they're pretty much always the same price. 300, 400, 500, that sort of thing. Right. Motorbikes are infinitely cheaper than they normally would be. I've never paid like 150 to 200 to rent a motorbike for a day in a place like Phuket or Samui for that matter. You want to um, hear a story on motorbike rentals? I was yeah. in uh, the last time I went to Pattaya or Pattaya. Um, I paid a 2000 bot deposit. I didn't go to my yeah. usual guy because I had a taxi carry me down there and I just wanted to get a bike out in front of my hotel. Right. Yeah. So, uh, I paid a $2,000, uh, or uh, 2000 yeah. deposit sure. and got a Honda PCX, uh, okay. 650 bot per day. Where, was it like brand new? It was new. It wasn't brand new. Really good shape. But six hundred and fifty I mean, per day. I was I was astonished, shocked, and so glad that I go. I use a uh, uh, speed bike, Pattaya or Pattaya speed bike. Is there okay. is the people that I normally use, and I wish I would have used them again. Do you always pay? I have never paid a deposit, not even once. One time I had to give them. I didn't have to. I had to give them some type of ID. I gave them my driver's license, my my car driver's license. Just so when I came, you know, there would be some sort of accountability. But I've never been yeah. asked for my passport. Um, uh, I've occasionally been asked to show them that I have a license of some kind that will allow me to ride a motorbike. But I've never paid a deposit. Is that normal for you? Like I, some paid a I, I, I even paid a deposit at uh, Speed Bike where I, where I rent my, my current bike from. Really? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Huh. Of how much? Same? 2000 baht? No, one thousand, just just a thousand baht. Um, I was a referral to him from sure. a very trusted guy, and um, you know I, I'm I'm probably one of his best customers because I've had the bike so long, and I usually pay like forty five days in advance. So <laughs> it's it's uh, a yeah, we can check him out. Um, I have a video on my channel that I did on the place. It's it's in the southern ish uh area of patia it's um what's it near is there a big resort or anything near it's, Road. A, it's, a small, it's a small shop no it's off of um i think it's off of bucal if i'm not mistaken but it's way down the the road like it's 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 a little bit outside of Patia. Oh, it's not even. It's, it's like south of Patia, South Road. Uh, 
could be. I'm not 100 percent sure. If you know where Bonkai Resort is, do, do, do you know where Bonkai Resort? Resort. No. Okay, well, it's very near. Look up Bonkai Resort, and it's very near there. And yeah. also, um, if you see, um, um, uh, what is that? that? There's a lot of gyms around there. Um, okay. Is this like the road of the Yeah. It's it, it, but it's called Speed Bike uh, Patia. They have a Facebook page, and it has the address on there, so you can uh, you can look it up, pinpoint it. My, my common place for motorbike rentals in Patia is like it's right on Beach Road, and I believe that it's uh, Soy Twelve One or Twelve Two. I can't remember, but it's basically uh, well, Soy Post Office is the short answer, and he'll always have motorbikes like just lined up. Um, and yeah, never asked for, uh, I mean, he's like, Oh yeah. Do you have the ability to, and I'm like, yeah. Um, but that's interesting. I don't, I'm trying to think where else I've ever, hmm. but that's cool. I mean, dude, well, here's the thing. If they have like new bikes, that's pretty sweet. Um, do you get a full face helmet with the rental that I would love to be able to do? I don't like the little, um, I don't think I got a full, no, I did not get a full face. I got just the top. Yeah. So I had to wear glasses. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the full face helmet. My helmet is a uh, not a full face, but it does have a screen yeah, that, that nice. slides up and down. So you know that that makes it pretty. Uh, Hi, pretty guys. Why don't I pay a deposit? They don't ask me to. No, they don't. <laughs> I I never have. It's it's weird. And in fact, if someone were to ask me, I'd be like, "What? Okay," and I'd go somewhere else be, because it would be so foreign to me. But obviously, with Jeremy, it's like, "Oh yeah, yeah, that's what they do." Um. So that's interesting. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. I'm not sure why. Yeah, sorry. I'm just reading a few comments here. Yeah, go uh, for it. Yeah, that, well, uh, Stuck says Kamala Village is very reasonable for the most part. I, I didn't know that. It depends. Um, There's Millionaire's Mile, don't forget, right, in in, uh, in Kamala. I haven't been. I've got to get over there. i got to get over there at some point. Uh, nice. Brent says, hope I, hope I can get a good deal on a Honda PCX next year. You can. There's good deals everywhere. Uh, TK4C says six fifty a day. That's not cheap. That's right. That's not cheap. I paid five hundred for the week for a click, and that that should be yeah. some somewhere about right. I paid five thousand a month for an NMAX, which is you know comparable to the PCX. But again, that's um, not. Yet. I mean, that's like back in high season, right? Yeah, I paid five thousand year round for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, up here. For, for the bike, no, I the bike I rented uh, came from. It is the same bike that I rented at uh, Pattaya Speed Bike. It's it's rented by him. I just money transfer. It's so easy to transfer money here. Um, yeah, big time. You know. So, uh, let's see here. I used to live oh, up in Street Speed Bike Resort from Arcadia Beach. Are you getting Are you getting all the funds today? <laughs> what no 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 no. i wanted to thank steve for his comment he's right yeah i i, I misspoke it's not 12 it, it's 13 one slash 13 two whatever so, the short answer is whatever soy post office is i can't remember which one that is i think it's 13 two but i can't remember li, li, having a pair of martini having a pair of martinis listening uh and having a pair of martinis okay alan good to see you man uh steve's uh, Oh, Prince says, I used to live up uh, the street from Speed Bike Resort when I was in uh, Arcadia. Okay. Mm. David, yeah. going to Phuket in two weeks, $30 from Bangkok, 70% off uh, Amare Hotel, taking full advantage of domestic travel. That's interesting. Um, yeah, okay, so there's a correction on that. Uh, and then Jim says, hi, Stuck. Where's Jim Pell? Uh, hi, Jim. Um, uh, so we don't know where Jim Pell is. J Jim Pell has not been around in a long time. And I miss Jim Pell. So, so I, okay. I use this question was what do you use to transfer money? So it depends what you're talking about. If you're talking about what Jeremy was referring to, which is basically you transfer it to someone here in in Thailand, very frequently you just do that via your bank. You just, you know, you use the app for that. Super um, easy. 
Yeah, super easy. And uh, and it's 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 really designed. I mean, like like we pay with credit cards for like Amazon.com very frequently in the United States. I will like I always buy my plane tickets on AirAsia via um, my bank. I just do a bank transfer because it's infinitely cheaper, too. But to get money in and out, I use transfer wise. And I know that there's a bunch of them out there. I've tried all of them. I'm sure Jeremy has, too. If I need to move money pretty much instantaneously to the Philippines, meaning in less than like an hour or two, I use Zoom, which is X-O-O-M, which is now a PayPal company and has been for a while. So they can get money to Gracie's bank. Now, again, it transfer money, meaning how do you, where are you putting it, right? So if you're throwing it into a bank account, I would recommend transfer wise. And I'll give you the, the main reason is that the exchange rate they give you is exceptional. Yes, they charge a fee. But like, for example, if I use Bank of America and I go out of Bank of America and I go into Casa Corn, there is no fee. But the exchange rate they give me is so offensive, as is with yep. PayPal. That, that the amount of money that ends up here is ridiculous. I'll tell you right now, I moved thousands over into Casacorn recently, and you might look at it and say, oh, Mike, you're an idiot. You pay. The, the fee was $150. Well, right. <laughs> but they charged me no exchange fee, and they gave me like 32 in a world that is like <laughs> deleting 31. So I right, got right, right. in for a thousand bot in there. So I would highly recommend TransferWise. If you guys want to click on my link, that's fine. Um, oh, and in fact, you know, here's what's interesting about that. If you guys want to use that TransferWise link, um, they just sent me an email, which is something ridiculous. Obviously, they're looking for new customers, right? And that's an affiliate link. Let me be clear. Um, but if you click on that and you sign up and you transfer money, I guess like all of us get like $150. I mean, it's just something so ridiculous as far as affiliate. But they sent me something and they're, they're desperate for business, as is, you know, many other people. But um, but that's into into Thailand, and I can also use it to move money out, actually, and I've done that before. Um, that's not a common thing, but a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, sure, they make it easy to go in but not go out. Now, Jeremy, when you were in the Philippines, what were you using to transfer money into there? Um, I didn't transfer money into there. I oh. used my debit card. I was very, very, very naive um, okay. when I was over there, very, very naive. Um, and I have to say that, you know, I've learned, I, I, I don't use transfer wise. I, I haven't used transfer wise over here, um, because I had it set up with, um, um, the, the Bangkok bank, right. Where I could just transfer money between my bank and them. And then they went on this rampage about, um, they, uh, they got, I don't know, uh, some kind of new terms and conditions. You know how every year companies update their terms and conditions sure. and stuff. Yep. So, um, we went for, uh, that they effectively blocked my ability to transfer from my bank. Right. And the transfer uh, rate that they were giving me was something like 28, nine or something like that. I mean, it was, it was just sad. When you say uh, are you talking about ACHing it into the Bangkok Bank branch in New York City? Yeah, yes. I'm calling and I'm talking about no, I'm talking about I have a Bangkok Bank account over here. Yep. And you know, they have a Bangkok Bank in New York City with a USA routing number. So I could Correct. transfer it in like that. Now if that's yeah, ACH. ACH. Right. Okay. So yeah. that's what they did. Um and also have to, uh, um, I don't have that set up. Um, <laughs> sorry, just, dude, my channel's get my channel is uh, under troll attack right now, and it's so much fun to watch. Um, don't you guys do that? They uh, they they pretty much know the people, right? Oh well, no, yeah, that's that, more you know, the words you can use and that sort of thing. Well, yeah, but they they're also. Um, they're they're keeping a good eye on over there a anyway. Um, but the um, uh, what I do now is I try my best to leave the money in the bank in America for savings and for hard times. Um, so the money that goes into the bank in America is the AdSense revenue. That's the only. Mm -hmm stuff that gets transferred in, right? Or right. I can transfer um, 
to Bank of America from PayPal if I had to, but I've never had to do that. Um, mm -hmm. So the um, essentially what I'm going to do is is create a transfer wise account because I've heard and heard and heard that it's the best way to transfer money. And I find myself now that uh, the economy is slowing down over here and, you know, the, the, the ad sense slowed down so much. Sure. Um, we don't have a big channel fund anymore uh, like we used to. And um, uh, with all that happening, I'm going to get transfer wise that way. Um, I could transfer that money from America over here because I still have American bills that have to come out each month. Like, yeah, sure. you know, uh, $80 in, in, in Lightroom, Photoshop and other, and uh, Premiere, you know, to make videos. Um, mm -hmm. I have a uh, uh, cell phone. I still have an American cell phone, 65 bucks a month. And I'll, anyway, there needs to be some money in there uh, to sure. take care of that. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much my my transfer story. Um, well, you may ask about debit cards. The short answer is that your USA debit card works anywhere in the world. There's basically a star or a plus um, related network. But please let your bank know first that you're going to use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Any any international travel, I mean, that's the default setting. You got to let them know ahead of time. Unless, of course, you're with American Express because they're, you know, smart. <laughs> Um, but the fees you pay will potentially be distracting. I talk a lot about that. It's like I buy these certain things at this amount of money because I don't want to be distracted by the cost. And, um, you know, I, I mean, I've got $5, right? But if you do an international, like, withdrawal at an ATM here, you're looking at between 150 and 180 baht, depending upon the bank. And that's just the fees that the bank here will charge you. <clears throat> um, and yes, to your point, William Schwab is an excellent account. It's called the uh, High Interest Yield Savings Account. Um, to apply for it is not trivial. Uh, and doing so from outside of the United States is kind of a bear because they really harp on you having a U.S. address that you can prove you live there. So while you may have a U.S. address in, in, in you know, back home and you're over here, unless you've got like a utility, like you can't just use a cell phone bill for it, for example. You have to have like a utility that basically proves you're physically there. I would recommend Fidelity. Um, I think they have an infinitely more options as it relates to that. Plus, well, pretty much no one's charging fees to do trades any longer. So, I mean, whether you have a brokerage account in Schwab or Fidelity, either one is pretty decent. Um, and, but then just to follow up on, on Todd's thing about the Bangkok Bank, yeah, the ACH ability into that is basically no longer uh, happening. Um, you had to have a dual currency account, and I did that. So that's a question. Did you have a dual currency account here in Thailand to be able to accomplish that? Or when you moved it from Bangkok Bank, New York over here, it just no, transferred? It just, yeah, it, it, it converted yeah. into bot automatically. Uh, Rupert yeah. said USD is going to crash hard. I certainly hope not. I watched uh, Graham Stephan's uh, video yesterday about inflation and the Fed and what they just did. And uh, so we're hoping that we don't see, you know, six, eight, 10 percent inflation this year. That would be bad. Um, or next year, I should say. Um, that would be well, terrible. Well, for you. You may, may have a good point. Thank you very much for uh, for showing up for the stream. Rupert, always interested to hear your opinion. What did you did you ask, Mike? I'm sorry. What's unemployment at in the United States right now? Do you even know? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't have the number. I'd have to Google it. Um, I don't. When the last one came out, it was. I can't remember if it was twenty million or if it was twenty percent. I don't remember. Um, yeah, I heard thirty million. So that's like Jesus. Yeah. So some some somewhere in that neighborhood, but um, hopefully it'll come back online um sooner rather than later. I think that um. Yeah. And I think that there are a lot of factors that are going to contribute to that. Unemployment's high in the USA right now, no doubt, because uh, you know some of the some of the governors won't let the states open, so you can't go to work. Um, but that's a that that's a whole other uh, conversation. Um, a couple of things say, uh, yeah, William asked, "Will your U.S. debit card work?" Yes, it'll work here. Uh, Prince says, I'll have to look at an NMAX. I see a lot of PCX bikes. Here's the reason I don't ride PCXs anymore. The only, re the only reason I ride it, it or wrote it in Patia is because they didn't have an NMAX. A PCX bike has a, uh, like all the Hondas, clicks and everything, 
they have a combo brake system. So when you pull the left handle brake, um, you're slowing down. There's a drum brake on the rear and a disc brake on the front of that bike. Um, and what it's essentially doing is it's applying hydraulic pressure to both uh, the drum, which pushes out, and then the clamps on the front, which clamp down on your disc brake. So it's very dangerous if you're riding fast and you need to brake in a corner, right? When you're taking a corner, very dangerous because if you lose that front tire in a corner, you're done. You're laying down, you're going for a ride and you're going to wake up without skin uh, in certain parts of your body. The NMAX, however, uh, oh, and the uh, PCX does not have ABS. Okay. And if you don't think ABS matters on a bike, I'm <laughs> I hate right. to be the I hate to be the bearer of really good news, but yeah. uh, it does a lot. Yeah. My NMAX has kept me. I have not laid the NMAX down one time, not once. Um, PCX I laid down twice, both times it was because the front tire locked up on me. Uh, you cannot control a bike with a locked up front tire. You can't do it. And the ABS on the NMAX actually works. Like it'll if you brake too hard, you hear it go. Yeah, you, you can hear, you know, you can hear it pumping. Um, down next, uh, the Schwab, the, everybody talks about Charles Schwab card. I don't have enough money to get one of those, I don't think. You don't, um, need any, you don't need any money. It's completely free. You don't need a minimum deposit. You can put in like $100. <clears> really? <throat> Absolutely. Yes. I might, I might check that out. Um, Prince says cell phone bills in the U.S. are insane. I pay $7 here. 100% uh, agree. Um, I pay 65 for that gives me full access to um, everything. As long as I'm, I can text, I can uh, uh, call as long as it's Wi-Fi calling like t If it says T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling at the top, then I can use it. So as long as I've got a Wi-Fi stream, um, I can call to America at any point in time. Um, Sorry, one second. Say hi to Gracie, guys. She's kicking over on, uh, she's there from Facebook as well as uh, YouTube. Thank you, Todd. You're awesome, buddy. Hey, Gracie. I haven't met you, but I look forward to meeting you one day. Yes, Robert. Uh, do your thing, brother. And uh, let's see. 10%? Uh, TK4C says, I think unemployment is 10%. It's got to be higher than that. It's got to be higher than that. Well, well okay. actually. Florida says about 10%. So, uh, boy, these guys are coming up with some creative names over here. Do more nothing, Jay. <laughs> um, so, Walker was asking about whether we prefer the Philippines or Thailand. And I think that that's a great, great discussion because I can tell you right now, I have not heard a whole lot of guys being like, oh, my God, I got to get back over to the Philippines. <laughs> I got to get a visa. I got to get, it's just, you know, whereas over Thailand, it's like, I've got to get over to Thailand, you know? And, uh, well, I prefer Thailand. <laughs> so do I, <laughs> so do I for, uh, multiple reasons. Um, I prefer, uh, Thailand and I prefer being here. I prefer, I definitely prefer living here. Um, however, I have a tremendous amount of respect for um, the people that I met in the Philippines. For example, uh, I mentioned oh, yeah. this on my live. Yeah, people are. yeah. The people I missed. I missed uh, um, an opportunity last time, so I took advantage, or I'm going to try to take advantage of this opportunity again. I met a young lady in uh, the Philippines. We didn't do anything but photo shoots. That's all we were doing. She's she wanted to be. Um, you know, have some good good photographs, basically. So I took right. some good photos for, her, and uh, we actually had two sessions while I was there in the Philippines. Um, and she now lives in Patea as a school teacher. So, wow, uh, nice. so she's an OFW. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just talked to her um the day before yesterday, and we're going to try to get together and take some pictures. So um, if that yeah. happens, I have some good uh, pictures for thumbnails, <laughs> and, yeah, nice. yeah, and and Instagram uh, because she is a 
absolutely beautiful, beautiful. She's she's already on my Instagram. She's a beautiful, beautiful uh, young lady and uh, very intelligent. So um, props Thank to the Philippines guys. there. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys for saying hi to Gracie. I really appreciate it. And yes, Hugh, you, the, truer words have not been said today. She absolutely brightens my day. Someday she'll be here <laughs> physically. Um, and uh, and that'll be a that'll be a very good. And yeah, look at that. Thank you for watching. Yeah, for sure. Oh, honey, I got a dollar ninety nine. So that's totally cool because she knows how excited I get about you because I'm like, dude, 60 bot. Are you kidding me? Do you have any right. idea? Let down the street, man. I can get chicken and sticky rice for 60 bot all day long and I'm living the dream. That's huge. That mm. is. Uh... What Huge. what grade does she teach? Um, I she's a special ed teacher. She got a degree from the Philippines, I think. I, wow. I think she got her master's in special education. So she teaches uh, kindergarten. Um, okay. you know, that's so a lot of patience. Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, Rupert says I pay. And by the way, I did say hello to Gracie and. Uh, I look forward to uh, that meeting one day when I get to meet her for real and find the woman that can uh, deal with Mike 24 hours a day. I really want to meet that person. Um, but <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Trust me, when you wake up, I won't be this much of a jerk. <laughs> Rupert's like, I paid $10 in the US, uh, USD for the UK for my phone. Unlimited calls and text, only one gigabyte data, though. Ah, see, yeah. I get unlimited uh, data and all that stuff, and it doesn't bother me, and I have a uh, good time. Okay, my moderators are officially um, having fun over on my channel, so I'm just going to focus on the conversation from this point forward. And you just got another $5, Dude, man. Absolutely. Look at that. I wanted to say, Mike, have you seen that? I know, right? I can't hide it. How cool is that, right, Robert? Todd, thank you. Thank you very much, dude. And I'll tell you something. Here's the cool thing is that there are easily three really, really good mango and sticky rice places here. I know, Jeremy, you talk about a place near your house, right? Kick-ass oh, yeah. mango. Yeah. Kick-ass mango and sticky so that's rice. So yeah. 150 baht worth of mango and sticky rice? Are you kidding me? I'm going to be like 200 kilos, bro. Oh, my it gets, uh, my My mango and sticky rice lady is 80... Um, uh 80 baht per dish but it's huge like nice. if i when i get off work if i swing by there and get the mango and sticky rice then i'm uh there there's i'm not eating another meal you know what i mean so um oh, uh, that's pretty good yeah well i mean there's a ton of sugar right it totally fills you this issue with uh you're getting all the money today man yeah. i think they're doing yeah. it on purpose <laughs> I hope they're not doing it accidentally. I mean, <laughs> um, but Rupert, thank you, dude. I really appreciate it. Kalman guy. I'm a big fan of Kalman guy. Here's the other thing too, is that one of the first thing, I mean, I've always loved like fried rice. Like even before I came to Thailand, Chinese restaurants in the United States, they've always been awesome. So I've loved fried right. rice. And then I came over here and had like chicken fried rice, right? Which again is like a dollar, you know? Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, that's, I mean, that's, I have not had Kamangai in, in a while. So I'm going to totally do that. In fact, I got to write it down, Rupert, because I forget. Um, so stand by, Jeremy. You got it right now. Hold on. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Um, I just hope everybody is having a wonderful day. And those who are not, I really feel sorry for you. Um, that was really interesting. Um, there's some interesting stuff going on on my channel. <laughs> on my channel, and uh, it's uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, Prince says I had some really good fried rice over in Chinatown in Bangkok. You know, I've been living in Bangkok and still have not found uh, Chinatown, and it's only because I haven't looked for it. Um, I just hadn't had the time to look for it yet, uh, which is why I'm really, really, really genuinely. Uh, looking forward to um, uh, this coming weekend because I'm going to have some time and I'm going to have um, some uh, um, energy finally to do some of these things. And uh, I don't know if there'll be live streams this weekend because I'm probably going to want to sleep late. Uh, sleeping late is not something I do. I get up, uh, I only get up an hour later on Fridays 
and or on Saturday mornings and Sunday mornings so I can do these live streams than I do during the week so it's not really a late sleep I don't stay up too much earlier and all that stuff uh Prince says it's not far from Kosan Road okay well I'll check it out then I'm not too awfully far from there Big Steve says Chinatown was like the first place I went to in Bangkok then MBK I remember my first time in MBK I was so confused because I thought it was such a nice place and uh then I saw like one floor that was like uh the section that uh stole my battery out of my iphone and gave me a replacement screen that cracked in three days <laughs> and uh, is this mvk yeah oh stuck yeah. in florida start a uh, stuck in florida. i love you man i love you stuck in florida he says let's really piss off the trolls i'll pay ten dollars for every twenty dollars sent through paypal up to a hundred dollars 50 for nice me. Nice work. And then he put the the uh, the PayPal link up there. That's the best way to piss them off. It really you is. Guys I, I mean, challenges. That's so cool. Yeah, we get the challenges going, man. And I'm telling you right now, bro, it, it that is the best way uh, to piss off the trolls is because they think they're hurting me um, uh, because they, we're having a slow stream today in terms of monetary stuff. Uh, guys, I have the best. The be I, let, me, let me be very clear about this. I have the best group of or the best community overall. And I share this community with Mike, by the way. But I, I have the best community overall, uh, I believe, on the Internet. I believe that the Do More Life family and, the, and including people that have come over from Mike's channel and people that are on Mike's channel um, are some of the best people in the world. And I have nothing but love and respect. Uh, for those people, and those people are the people that uh, inspire me to do more. So, uh, good challenge, uh, Stuck. I will periodically uh, click over and see if there are, well, if there are PayPal's, there, well, there we go. They come that right into your long. app. I thought I heard it vibrating. Yep, that didn't take long. Um, let's just show off real quick so the trolls can, uh, You, I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you. Uh, Roger, love you, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's 20 right there. Oh, right on. Uh, for Roger, we got one more. Hang on. <laughs> and my man says, uh, 100 Traveler says, uh, 20 more and pay up stuck. Do you see that? Pay up stuck. So stuck is, uh, is supposed to match, <laughs> uh, everyone. Uh, the twenty dollars. So I would just like to say thank you, trolls, for pissing off my moderators and starting to <laughs> egging I them on. It. I want to let yes. you guys know I absolutely made notes because seriously, guys, I literally will forget. You know who it is. So thank you so much. I'm definitely I'm stoked to eat, and obviously Gracie's stoked too because she's a big fan of uh, of sticking it, uh, chicken and sticky rice, and she she that well she also oh, so cooks it well. I don't have that skill set. I I know how to purchase. That's about as this this uh, that's about as good as I can do. Do you know Derek? What's up, boys from Bangkok? I finally get to catch the live stream. Live my ass off. Uh, cool linkage with the yeah, absolutely. Just like Jeremy was saying, yeah. it's a good yeah, marriage, I, bro. I, I don't I don't know Derek, but uh, nice to see you, man. Thanks for dropping by. Appreciate it very much, very very much. And I'm in a much better mood now because. Uh, my moderators are just doing their thing and deleting the why, blame. Yeah, that that's why I have a I have that team and we're you know we usually do this for three hours so we got a whole another hour and a half of this man I, and and there's no Absolutely. telling what could happen. Uh, you know we could we could do more than three hours. I, I don't know, but I I put it to you this way: I feel like talking now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I get it. I mean, it, it's the distraction. And we've talked about, you know, the various solutions that I have in place for that. And, um, you know, one could argue it's a little bit excessive, <laughs> uh, a little bit reactionary, but I'm pretty good with the results. Uh, I don't know. I mean, like you, dude, you know, I mean, we just you kind of just set up this culture and it's like, you know, they've really got nothing. Like if they come over here, they're like, oh, for the love of God, Mike's talking about mm -hmm. gratitude again. <laughs> Did I just hear a vibration? Did you just get another you PayPal? Did. You just heard a vibration. Let's get that up there, baby. Let's get it up there. Uh, I won't put his name up here. Uh, ooh, okay. So that's who. Uh, this is from Rupert. I definitely have to cover up his name here. Uh, let's try to get it in. 
20. Okay. Nice 20. work. 20. Very good. There you go. And now you're getting uh, some too. So that's 60 uh, already. Dave, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. Oh, and here's a uh, here's 20 more. This is uh, I want to make sure I cover that up. I think that's stuck. I'm pretty sure that's stuck right there. Can Tilt it. I can't see the amount. Oh, there you go. Up. Uh, was that 20 right there? Nice guy. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Yes. So uh, you guys are just knocking it out of the park, man. Just knocking it out of the park. Uh, that's, um, <laughs> I love it. I lo I'm just going to let you guys keep going and you're getting money too, Mike. <laughs> it's a smoothie. Totally friggin' love it. That's awesome. Smoothie. Yeah. And I'm going to get with some of this money. I'm going to drink lots of coconuts. Thank you, Rupert. Thank you very much, brother. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to drink a lot of, uh, uh, tea. tea. And I, matter of fact, when I get off, uh, when this live stream's over, I'm going to order some more tea um, because you guys just absolutely rock. And <laughs> there's the door, man. Got to buy a microphone. Yeah, I got to buy. Yeah, I'm going to order a microphone for Holy with the equipment. God. And I'm also going to, well, I was going to order some tea anyway, but now I'm going to feel better about it. Uh, <laughs> nice uh, work. There's the door, man. I won't put a full name up there. Five bucks. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sir, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, so we're uh, ramping up from uh, what we what we didn't make yesterday and what we're uh, making today. So it's, it's just amazing. I love it, <laughs> Robert. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Trust me, dude. <laughs> if there's a constant daily prayer, that would be the default one that uh, that Gracie can get back over here. So I'd, yeah, I appreciate. And I want to say. I want to I want to say to that to to uh, what what you just said, uh, Mike. I'm envious um, of people that not 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 envious like uh, with with malice, just envious, right? So I'm envious of people that have that to look forward to. Um, that have that, yeah, yeah. That have that have that to look forward to. Because uh, the one that I tried to work with for so long is still just I, I, I don't I don't I don't even know if she processes information like I, I don't I, I don't or she has to process information, but I don't know how to what degree um, she does that. So I, I and that was the only girl that I had a real, real good, solid connection with for a long period of time. Uh, here in Thailand, I, I, my first relationship would have lasted if I could. If I knew now what I knew then, I would have kept my butt in Bangkok and been with a uh, civil engineer. You know, but anyway, that's a whole nother story. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, um, my experience. Well, first of all, you're what thirty nine. Yeah. Okay, so I met Gracie when I was uh, forty six, forty seven. So <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I could have made the same statement at 39. I'd have been like, ah, oh, this is, I mean, she was lovely. She was great. Not saying, but again, one, the final thing I will, I will just say is that working at it, you know, people say, oh, it takes work. You know, I disagree. <laughs> I do. I, I, I do too. I, I, I disagree as well. I, I think that when it happens, it happens. And let me just, let me just reiterate that Rupert says, enjoy being single and the right one. Uh, will come along. You yeah. think too much. He's talking to me. I think too much. And you know, Rupert, do you know how many people tell me that I overthink things? I mean, I, it, seriously, it's like, it, it, it's a dramatic, um, I have finally understood that you guys are right. I overthink things. Like, mm -hmm. I know I have to do laundry at some point today. I don't want to do laundry, but I'm That's trying not to overthink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm trying not to overthink what I could be doing instead of laundry. You know, uh, Mister, please tell me a little about this tea. Do uh, do more like I got it from a store. I'm gonna give you the very short story, and it's not because um, I want to give you. I'm trying to cut you off, Mister Mitch. You can go to the stream I did yesterday, and it'll tell you all about it. But I got the short story is a friend of mine at work um, gets this tea from a store in Chiang Rai. Um, and it's unbelievably real, authentic tea. And you have to boil it and all that stuff. Um, 
and I got uh, ginger and black tea. I got uh, green tea and peppermint tea, and I also got this GABA tea. Um, f- phenomenal. I bought a cup and a uh, strainer, and all that was about sixteen hundred bucks. Right. Nice. And that, inc- that included delivery. I thought it's coming from Chiang Rai. I ordered the, it was shipped on a Monday. Okay. And I was like, you know, it'll be here probably Friday, maybe something like that. It was here Tuesday. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that makes um, sense. Did it come po- tie post? Yeah, I, I, I believe so. Um, I can't remember it right off the top of my head because I was very surprised. Um, but I was very, 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 um, <laughs> I was very, I was very uh, pleased with the service that I got there. The people were very nice. Uh, Let me thank you, Derek, Derek, thank you so much, dude. I totally appreciate the five bucks. I'm stoked for a smoothie. And also, Dave, yeah, you don't just fill out. He sent me some PayPal. That's awesome, dude. I'm honored. I don't know if I have notifications for going for PayPal, so that's good. But you can absolutely be guaranteed. I will definitely buy Gracie a good dinner when she finally gets here. One of the that- things that we did when she got her U.S. visa is we went up to one of those rooftop bars. Um, you know, and the view's awesome and that sort of thing. I think he just got another PayPal. But I will tell you that twenty dollars, Dave. Dude, thank you. Jesus. That's pretty awesome. Wow. You get you get really wait, you, made, you just made twenty bucks? Yeah, thanks, Dave. PayPal? You're friggin' awesome. Oh, uh-huh, PayPal. That's yeah. awesome. That's a lot of money, dude. That's six hundred baht. Gracie and I can yeah. eat for a week. Well, no, sorry. We can eat for a couple of days in six hundred baht, but yeah, Big Steve definitely. just said uh, a few more contributions to get Jeremy some loving tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what amount are you at? Uh, I don't know. I have to look. I, I'll look in just a second. Uh, Cesar says 7 Eleven at the corner is actually pretty killer for coconuts. Dude, I love fresh coconuts. If you don't know me, um, I love, love, love fresh coconuts. I love to eat it. Um, and stuck in Florida, his apartment should be clean now. So, <laughs> yeah, I could probably, uh, ha- I could definitely have a guest over if that's what you're implying there. <laughs> oh, yeah. She would, yeah, she won't like sit there, open up her eyes. You're like, wow, that's the same reaction I got from my cleaning lady. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, the store is not on Lazada, uh, Prince. If you send me a message online, I will send you the store online. What's um, the name of it. And- uh, let me see. That's okay. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you're very. No, thank you. Eric. So, I am. Sherwin Tea Shop, something like that. S U S U W I R U N Tea Shop. Okay. Very cool. Okay, take it away, Mike. I know you got. Uh, uh, yeah, I, just, I you know, always just like you, dude. I mean, I want to make sure I thank my guys. I really love the fact that you guys come by and, you know, and do this. And, uh, you know, the PayPal thing. If you don't know, buymeasmoothie.com. The reason I actually like that is much th- for the same reason that Jeremy likes PayPal is there's less of a fee that gets taken. Now, that said, <laughs> we're sitting here basically for free, okay? <laughs> Broadcasting globally on a, for the sake of argument, 100% reliable you know, back end network. So I'm kind of okay with the fees that they take, which I get. But, um, but yeah, it is, you know, it, it's interesting. It's really cool when like you can, I was talking about this the other day, as far as like friendship goes, right? Like in other words, there's, there's acquaintances I have, and then there's friends I have. And the friends that right. I have, maybe this is true for you, are ones that really, well, they get me, there's that, but they really have a similar sort of outlook on goodness of people, right? Mm-hmm. Um, like Dave, for example, gotta love Thailand. He he is a really really good guy. Um, he's got the gift of gab. I will say that. <laughs> um, right. But uh, but yeah, I mean, it's just like look, this is the, this is the culture that we have here. This is the foundation. This is the do more life slash live my ass off Sunday morning discussion about gratitude. For God's sake, basically. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's really neat. And and again, like I mean, obviously you've got your you've got your mods, thank God. But mm-hmm. I think you know people come, and after a while, I mean, again, if you're not getting the if you're not getting the sort of attention, it's like, well, I'm not going to hang out with these guys. All they do is talk about positive things, you know. Yeah, ex- exactly, exactly. And my uh, my outlook on friendship and acquaintances is um, uh, for me to call somebody my friend. 
Um, number one, there has to be a long duration of time that goes by. Really? Um, okay. Yeah. When when you haven't shit on me because I did. <laughs> uh, so, there, so that's the that's the litmus test. Has he shit on me? Yes, that's that's pretty much it. Um, because my experience, and if you heard the um, the ones yesterday, uh, stuck in Florida just said real quick. He said ninety five dollars, including the ten I owe, waiting to see if more contributions come in. There you go, yeah. boy. Nice thank work, you, man. Dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we can, uh, Andy, uh, meet up once travel starts again. But here, here's my here's my my litmus test on friendship. Number one. Um, is there something that, that, do you have something I want? I don't mean monetarily or, but I, do you have a character that I want? Number two, are you willing to share it with me? Um, that, that's what, are you willing to teach me to do what you do to be success or, or whatever that aspect is of your life, right? The, that, that's, that's a friendship to me because if I know how to do something and if I have a skill set, which I don't have many, but if I do have a skill set uh, and somebody wants to know how to do something, um, there's not a, you're not going to get a no unless you're just a 100% asshole. You know, you're not going to get a no. So, uh, well, he'll still help you out. Yeah. <laughs> but, but that, that's, and then uh, I also look at, you know, um, who's your circle? You know, what 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 kind of people uh, are in your circle? When you talk about, um, I'm not talking about you, Mike. I'm saying you in general, what like people. Uh, when when uh, when people tell me that you know we're good, this that and the other that kind of thing. Well, who's your circle? Who do you hang around? Um, even when it comes to YouTube, it's like. Who do you watch the most? And it's not but it, it's not about do you watch me the most? It's about do you engage with the people that I know that have tried uh, to cause damage in my life? Sure. Um, and if if you do, then I don't have any use for you. Um, uh, if you shit on me, if you lie to me one time, um, I, I don't have use for you anymore. Um, my standard of friendship is dramatically, dramatically changed since, um, I moved to the Philippines, uh, just because of the, uh, the, the madness I went through there. And, um, I don't call too many time. friends. What'd you say? Just timing. It wasn't necessarily because of the Philippines. It was the, right, 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 right. It, it was, it was timing and it was decisions that I made uh to hang around people that i thought were good people um i you're not gonna find me at especially not as a person who is forever recovering right you're not gonna find me hanging around people that are uh manipulative um who uh look for the bad and everybody very judgmental that's not my crowd that's just yeah, not yeah. my crowd. right so, yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I there was a it was a def, I don't know how long ago it was, uh, but I read this. Uh, sorry, I was listening to like a speaker kind of thing. Um, and he was talking about friendship and acquaintanceship. Um, and it was I think it was some I think it was might have been um, Cialdini. If you guys know who Cialdini is, he's basically a Ph.D. from Stanford and talks a lot about um, power and influence and not necessarily how you would potentially interpret that as negative. Right. Um, in other words, you know, I'm taking advantage of the situation. You say that statement a lot of people are thinking, well, well that means you're manipulating. No, 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 no. Someone just gave me one thousand dollars. I'm taking advantage of that situation. I'm going to buy Gracie up, whatever. Right. It's like, OK, well, then it's OK. You know, but yeah. So, I mean, but I agree. I mean, it's like, who are you uh, or, or how do you act? You know, and we've also chatted before about, you know, like little sort of. Uh, important safety tips on a first date, right? Is if you're out on a date with someone and she's not nice to the waitress, you know that that that's that that's pretty much it. Also, um, on a friendship, first let me think. Uh, I'll hide his name because I don't know if he wants to be shown or not. Uh, but uh, for the five dollars there, um, thank oh. you very much. That that just came in. So 
there's a hundred. I would just like to say to all the trolls, eat shit. Thank you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Nothing like poking the bear. That'll get you some that's, happiness. That, that's right. That's right. Well, I, I, what I did was I kind of poked the bear a little bit yesterday, and uh, um, that got some attention today. And mm. uh, it's good. It, it's good to be in such a positive environment, really, uh, to be able to deal with it. I mean, yeah, really, it, 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 it is. I shoot um, bears. I shoot bears. I don't poke them. <laughs> yeah, I well, my I don't have the. Uh, I don't no, no, have no, 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 no. It's not that reason. I'm talking proactively. That's that's a very know. reactionary. Yeah, what I do is very. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Okay, it is the one was out. Okay, Prince. Good. Good. Great. Wonderful. Um, go over there and get it, man. I heard you used to be able to get mushroom omelets on Samui with magic mushrooms. Beware, that stuff is very strong and technically a poison. I don't know why you would say that, uh, Cesar. <laughs> Cesar makes some very random comments. Believe me, uh, it's uh, it's it's mm -hmm. it, it waxes and wanes between entertainment and completely relevant and irrelevant, rather. Stuck made a comment about friendship. He said, I had a group of six people that I trust with my life. Um, unfortunately, three have passed. My circle of true friends is very small now. And, you know, uh, that's the case for me, too. I explained my entire circle of friends yesterday on um, oh, nice. the stream. So uh, I, I'm sorry to hear that, Stuck, but uh, I love you, man. No, friends are no friends. <laughs> Oh, absolutely. Hike asks me, what's my standard of friendship? I don't know if I really have a standard. I mean, here's the deal. Um, you know, I mean, I'll, I'll give you a great sort of example. I'm hanging out with this monk one time and uh, he's pretty darn wise. His English was OK. And in fact, he's the one who gave me my my Buddha. OK. Mm -hmm. And I asked him and I said, OK, so like just describe to me like what is buddhism you know i mean it's i've heard it's a religion i've heard it's a way of life or whatever and he just like sort of pauses and he looks up and he says kun mai just be kind and i'm like done i'm so buddhist right now you don't even know right right <laughs> that's probably the uh, yeah yeah because i was thinking he'd be like well you got to wear this orange robe I'm like, oh, crap you know you like shave your head which had i known yeah. back then Probably should have shaved it a long time ago. But yeah, I mean, look, here's the bottom line is, is that, you know, th th you're going to probably view me and some of my friends. You're going to be like, I wonder why he likes that guy. And that's and that's fine or likes that, you know. But I mean, it, it, Jeremy touched on basically the highlights, which is, you know, the um, you know, don't lie to me, that sort of thing. Arguably, I am infinitely more trusting early on and occasionally that will bite me in the butt but I prefer to live that way. I much more prefer to live that way. When I meet you, usually my default setting is to trust you. Um, but I'm also, I mean, I wear, may wear rose colored glasses, but I can tell you that if there is even the, the pinkest flag, you know, that you could potentially detract value from my life, then absolutely. I mean, you're gone. It's just, it, it's, it's, a, it's, it's not necessarily a hundred percent binary. Okay. It's not like just like with the, but, you know, there's there's limited gray area because, again, like and I'll, I'll show this one right now, which is like Robert said, life's too short, you know, and uh, and it's like, look, dude, I got way too much time to spend at the end of the day, especially if she's here and someone wants to, like, be in my life. Just ask your just ask yourself a question. Would Mike remove time that he's spending with Gracie to spend time with me? And if so, why? Because. Right. You know, I mean, there's yeah. the priorities, dude. <laughs> you know, so. I see, and and you got and you got you, you bring up a very very good point too. I, I'm at, I'm backwards uh, set default setting. Uh, everything else you said, I 100% agree with. Do you add value yeah. to my life? Are you somebody I can I can learn something from? Do we share uh, Do we share something that we can both be passionate about? How, hold a intelligent conversation about that kind of thing. But my default setting is. I don't fucking trust you yeah. at all when I meet you. None. Uh, there's no Except personal information coming out. There's no, uh, I'm not going to tell you anything about me uh, more than uh, maybe where, I, where I'm from, 
or uh, something like that because uh, there's just too many people in this world that like to do things uh, that are that there's too many miserable people in the world and I don't want to be one of them and when I when I hang around when I hang around like I'm not a miserable person but I am a very I judge myself way too much and if I hang around people that carry any kind of negativity uh, that overloads the already judgment that I put on myself and it puts me in basically a state of misery. So I need to be around happy people, people that are going somewhere in life, people that are uh, people that can teach me things, people that make me happy, people that make me laugh. Those are the people that I look for. And that's just, you know, that's my thing. The initial, <clears throat> that's one of the things you talk about in leadership, right? There's usually a continuum between, you know, and a lot of times it's related to like sort of introversion, extroversion, that sort of thing. But there's always a continuum of like, when you first meet someone, you know, what is your default trust level? Do you think that that was um, potentially changed or, or made to, towards the, the continuum of less trust based on, as you said, your stuff in the Philippines or like before you moved 100%. to the Philippines? That way. Uh, 100% because even when I was, um, a bona fide certified loser uh, <laughs> for a decade. Uh, uh, my default setting was still, which is stupid, but was was still trust, trust for uh, trust until given a reason not to, right? Mm. And now, and I've said this to people before, I'm not going to trust you until you give me a reason to trust you. Um, and that's that's a little harder uh, than most people can understand um because they're, they're like how do you give you a reason to trust you well here's 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 one thing for example um when i first met the girl that I, i've had this ongoing over whatever relationship with and if you want to call it that um <laughs> you know she came over and i intentionally left a couple hundred bot here a couple hundred bot there uh you know out in the room or whatever and um see if she'd steal it huh see yeah she'd she'd steal it. Really? yeah yeah <laughs> and um, um she didn't take anything she didn't right. take anything and she was uh she i said well let me pay for your taxi to get home she said no i don't need i don't need to pay for taxi you know now i don't mind paying for the taxi to get home i just wanted to see what her reaction was when i when i said that Hmm. I wanted to look look her in the eye, and when I said, uh, "Do you need taxi money to get home?" I wanted to see what her reaction was. I wanted to see what I wanted to see if it was a well, of course, dumbass. I needed taxi money to get home, or if it was uh, no, no, you know, don't 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 worry about that. Or if it was, um, yeah, because I don't have the money to get home. You know, I, I wanted to I, I wanted to look and see the reaction. I'm. I, I, I can judge. I, not that I like to judge, but I can judge better when um, uh, I see a reaction. And are yeah. you comfortable when people, when you initially meet somebody, if they engage in that kind of behavior, are uh, are you happy about it? Are you like, oh no, that's cool. I knew why this guy left out two hundred bot because he's basically <laughs> trying to see if I'm a thief, and I'm gonna. My default setting is to not be a thief. And so now for he is probably going to accept me into his circle and that will. Yeah, I'm, to I'm totally cool with that. Okay. Uh, Stuck just said, hello, everyone. I'm busy on the Do More Life Town. Thank you, Stuck. And for the most part, Mike, I, you know, uh, let me keep it real. For the most part, I'm a positive person. I really am. Yeah. Um, this, this, this job I work at is draining the life out of me. And, um, uh, um, because you know some of my goals and th this, th this meets none of those. Um, yeah, also, don't more. <laughs> exa exactly, exactly. Exactly. Um, and it, 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 no. it, it makes me appear as though I'm a little bit, you know, down that kind of thing, but I'm really not. I I'm just, I'm, I'm in between that point where, Patience is the only thing that will get me through. And patience is one of the hardest 
spiritual principles I ever had to learn in my life. And I still struggle with it. So if you guys see me and like yesterday's live stream started off uh, not positive at all. (laughs) It it was more of a yeah, it, it was more of a, well, I was just telling the truth about things. And, and when I do that, people usually don't like it um, uh, okay. when that happens. Uh, because the truth, especially if we put ourselves, like if somebody says something about um, anything that could have to uh, do with me, then I'm going to think that I hear it, right? Because if you're carrying around a hammer, you're looking for nails. So um, I... Sometimes I get a little distraught over certain things and certain things happen in my life. I, like yesterday, I was talking about giving, right? Uh, long story short, I gave, uh, I let a, a friend, okay, somebody that I trusted, um, borrow um, some money a long time ago, three, about almost three months ago now. Yeah. I let this person borrow money in the past because they were, they were broke and they – they had a legitimate reason for needing it. Okay. Um, it. It was the same amount of money, $65, $65, right? It's not like it's going to make or break me. It's the principle of the matter. Okay. Um, so the fir- first time, let them borrow $65. They um, uh, pay me back, no problem. Uh, last time, um, uh, I sent them the 65 and um, they disappeared from the channel, from Facebook, from everything. Over uh, 65 bucks? I mean, do you think they were in yeah. some sort of, I mean, were they harmed? <laughs> I mean, who disconnected? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what happened, Mike, but what I can tell you uh, is that the good people, um, like Stuck and Robert and uh, Roger and these other people that come in into my channel, uh, Prince and uh, just, uh, just a whole bunch of other really good people, Alan, all those guys that come into my channel, they keep me positive. They make me positive when I'm not, even if, even if there's no PayPal's coming in, uh, we can sit here and have, because long before there was the Bangkok boys, there was just do more oh, yeah. life. Right. Yeah. And, um, these guys kept me happy. I kept them entertained. They kept me entertained. Uh, they supported the, you know, this continues yeah. to support the channel. And Stuck says that is what attracted me to Mike's channel. Always a positive experience. Hundred percent, I agree. If you come on my channel, it's not always going to be a positive experience. <laughs> it's, just, it's just, it's just not going to be. And there's, and I don't personally see anything wrong with that because we're two different people. If you yeah, know? if you want warm and fuzzy and you know rainbows and unicorns, come over to the bald guy. But it's. <laughs> I learned a long time ago proactively how to um, be happy about loaning money. And the default setting for me is that if if I choose to loan you money, I have zero expectation that I will ever get it back. It's the only way that I will loan money to someone is if I can give it to them and I have no expectation that I get it back. So therefore, if I ever do get it back, then it's a gift, Um, which arguably... Uh, seems to be a pretty healthy boundary. Um, That said, though, I don't know what it is. I guess I just sort of behave in a way that I cannot tell you the last time someone asked me to borrow money. Um, I just don't get prompted for that. I I understand what you mean, and I also 100 100, uh, percent agree with your assessment. I've said that before. Um, if I can't afford to get it back, I'm not, uh, or if I can't afford to give it to you, I'm not going to give it to you. And I, I could afford to give it to him. It was okay at the mm. time. It was okay. No problem. Um, and it's, it's the principle of the matter uh, mm. that kind of, you know, it was, it was just the, the principle. It's the principle in the person, right? It's the principle in the person. So okay. uh, that that's what that that's that's what did it for me. Yeah. Anyway, we were supposed to be talking about Phuket, and then we got off on. Uh... <laughs> so, uh, I mean, come on, you know. Oh my God, Mike went off on a tangent on his channel. That's crazy, right? It's like wow. <laughs> All no, right, that, that never happened. <laughs> there's two chances. There's there's two chance. There's double the chances. 
So with Phuket, <clears throat> I will agree that there are things that are obviously more expensive. I mean, there's always the sort of the joke, the negative ref reference to the 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 tuk tuk mafia and again yes if you're going to take basically a tuk tuk those little you know mini song taos from let's say patong over to kamala you know you're looking at like four or five hundred baht it's ridiculous what yeah. i have found though is that there are you know like the taxi services and that sort of thing that you like book ahead of time those guys are providing really reasonable service right now um and of course if you go to patong right now and try and get a tuk tuk there's very few of them hanging out there at least during the day i haven't right. gone there in the middle so there's that. But, you know, I mean, the other thing, too, about Phuket right now is that, like, I actually went there and rented a motorbike and was, like, driving over the hills. I would never do that normally. I mean, Phuket is insane over those hills. There's always so much traffic and people, like, going, you know, like, like they're riding, like, a uh, like a like a 650 Ninja. I'm like, dude, talk about overpowered for friggin' Thailand. <clears throat> you know, so I uh, I'm definitely doing things differently over there. Do you know if there's a list of those resorts that people are going to potentially be able to stay at come October? Where's there that? Is. is that like uh, a or something? I think, you can, I think you can find it on TAT. The, oh, um, nice. Yeah, I, I believe that's where it's at. I've seen the list. Um, I don't know any of the hotels. Uh <laughs> well, Jared, what, what did he say? My year, everything, everything. He yeah. says, they "Scroll down." He says, "Sorry, I meant Jeremy." <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, 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 I'm guilty of all that stuff. <laughs> Trust me. I just here's the bottom line: is that as I get older, I get older. <laughs> um, but right. I also uh, I just do the bad stuff less, meaning that the bad stuff that this causes me like discomfort and that sort of thing. Um, you know, I still judge people like crazy. And, you know, I heard this thing. I heard this one guy. He was like sharing about how there's two things that always concern me is that when someone starts sharing about how humble they are, I'm like, you know, that by doing that, you're not right. <laughs> but exactly. the other thing is one phrase I heard. It was great. This guy was like, you know what? I really, really do not like people. You know, And I do judge. I never judge people. And I think people who do. And I'm like, Dude, did you just hear yourself? Like you just judged. I said, you, you know. just, yeah. And stuff like that is awesome because he probably he did not have any idea he said that, and it was so right. adorable that I was like, "Wow, you have you you got no you got no value in my life, buddy." Because lacking self awareness is something that is a good indication of um, someone who still needs to grow. I.e., me. Yeah. I'll just. Talk about I, myself. Me, me too. But without the desire, which I think both you and I share, you know, to grow and to be like basically a better human being. Mm -hmm. That's a real turn off. You know, I watch I watch guys do that and I'm just like, ah, oh, that's too bad. You know, that every you know, and usually I'll just like, give them crap and be like, Oh yeah, you're right. Based on that, dude, the whole world is out to get you. I don't know yeah. why you're hanging out with me. You should probably I, go <laughs> elsewhere. You know, I've, so. I've done that uh I've done that a um, hundred times. Google <laughs> AS, that that ASQ thing because if we start talking about that, we might get you YouTube. Oh, flat. that's bad news. Okay, yeah. No, yeah, Dave, you can't um, borrow any money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, see you, Big Steve. Uh, um, okay, but uh, my like, I sit down with a person. Um, I go to work every day with this guy. And he sits there and he talks about the world and politics and how he knows everything about, you know, <laughs> like he knows yeah. the elite, the elites that run the world. And yeah. uh, he can tell you every problem because he has a degree in history and uh, right. he can tell you where it all came from, that kind of thing. This um, work. He's teaching English online. He's teaching English online. OK. Uh, so uh, I'm like, uh, some days I can tolerate it. Yeah. Um, like and then some days um, I do the one thing that I swore I would never do again. And that is. Drop your pants uh, at work. But two things. I, I swore I'd yeah. never do again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so sometimes, sometimes I engage in that lunacy that comes out of his yeah. mouth and that yeah. is the worst possible thing to do. 
worst possible thing to do. So uh, my new goal, um, I set small goals to it. I look, I do ma the micro to affect the macro, right? So nice. um, the my micro goal for this week is to stay away from him as much as possible. Wise move. Um, and that's what I'm going to um, – that's my micro goal for this week. And that's going to be the only thing that I really change this week. And I'm going to see how much happier I am on Friday or if it made a difference at all. Because if it doesn't make a difference at all, then that means there's something internally I got to take a look at. Uh, I got well, to look at self inventory. I would submit yeah. to you that regardless, there's always something that I can work on internally. Oh know. yeah, yeah, like a hundred percent. But I'm just, I'm, I'm talking about this, this, this one, this one instance. There's, listen, I could take a self inventory right now, and it would probably look worse than the original self inventory I took back in 2012. Really, you, yeah. really, truly, you believe that? <laughs> Come on, I don't believe that. But, I, but I mean, it's, uh, it's, it, it, it would be. I feel like I would see some of the same things that were still lagging. Okay. Um, character and, defects. And character defects. Absolutely. Sure. And got I got read, I got rid of a vast majority of most of the major character defects, you mm -hmm. know, during that, during that, during round one of all of that. Sure. So, yeah. uh, now here I would be doing round three, I think, or yeah, three or four, three. I think it's three and i would probably be looking at um a person that's still a little insecure person that's still um a little bit um not quite self-aware um okay. yet uh and a person that um uh, still has a problem with trying to control things that are out of his control. Those are my three, those, those are my three major, those are my three major, like major character defects that I have to, um, I have to work on. I believe that the self-awareness will come um, as I progress through life and find something to do that I love, enjoy doing, and uh, I can live off of that. I think self-awareness will come with that because that will be, um, I remember when I was still drawing money from the government and living in the Philippines, mm -hmm. I wasn't that when I first moved to the Philippines, I was the happiest guy in the world. Um, I was broke, but I was happy because I was standing behind the camera, taking pictures or putting the camera in front of my face, doing vlogs. And that's all I wanted to do is go home and edit those and put them out for the world to see. Right. That was before I knew people were going to, uh, you know, try to slice you in a little bitty pieces for every um, thing to, that you said and that kind of thing. But I was so, so happy, especially early on. I had a, uh, I told the story of the, the, the girlfriend yesterday, first girlfriend that I had in the Philippines um, turned out to have a sponsor. And um, uh, I, I knew, I knew that. Because, I interpret that word, yeah. 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 Um, because uh, I, I knew something was up. She wouldn't let me post any Facebook pictures or um, any kind of internet stuff. I know, so I knew she wouldn't even let me walk her out to the, get in the taxi. Right. So I knew something was, I knew, I, I knew there was a problem somewhere, you know, yeah, like on day uh, four. You're like, okay. Yeah. But wait, how long yeah. were you with her? Um, about three months or so. Oh, yeah. oh, oh dude. Yeah. So, wow. but, but I did, okay. but I did, I was in that place in my life where I just didn't care. I was, uh, okay. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and, sure. uh, it turns okay. out, um, she, I was looking at uh, on, on my Facebook the other day and she popped up. Um, we're still Facebook friends. She popped up. Uh, she's married. She's married to a guy, uh, that lives in Charlotte, North Carolina, where I'm from. And, uh, I went to school with him. <laughs> Interesting. So you think that there's any commonality there? I mean, yeah, that was her sponsor. <laughs> wow. Interesting. Well, I mean, that's good, I guess, for him, right? Obviously, she was constant, she was consistent. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, uh, so, you know, it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's a, um, I'm telling you, man, I don't know. God to love Thailand says I did subscribe to your channel, but I don't watch too much because I'm afraid that I might say a word that you, you'll retract. And I don't even know what the words are. LOL. <laughs> I'm talking about Jeremy's channel. Yeah. Hey man, I appreciate you subscribing. We're not that, we're, it's, it's not that hard to type in the in the uh, in the chat, and if the if for some reason you say something that I that we consider YouTube problematic, uh, the guys will just retract the comment. And they'll just tell you what you said, and then you it, it doesn't take long to pick up the. No, you know, yeah, it doesn't. I would say just listen to like you know two or three live streams of yours, quite <laughs> frankly, and then you'll you'll kind of get it because. Um, you know, it, it, at the end of the day, it's just like anything you'd say on Mike's channel. Don't say that. No, I'm kidding. But um, it, you know, it's just one of those deals where you know, if you know anything about like sort of netiquette, just go a little bit more uh, conservative, and then that's a very easy sort of spot to sit at when you're in, on Jeremy. That is that that does make uh, a solid good point, and I, I wanted to say say real quick that. Uh, uh, I hope Steve stays safe. Uh, are you experienced? Just join us. And, uh, I'm very glad to have him here. Thank you for stopping by my Canadian friend, uh, stuck in Florida says 30 more dollars from you guys. And I'll have to pay $30, including the 10 I already owe. So <laughs> he's still, he's still pushing the PayPal over here. And, 30 more dollars. I thought you were at like yeah. nine. What you're you're not you're not at a, you're not at seventy or more now. Excuse me, aren't you? We we need seventy five yeah. today minimum, right? But minimum, yeah. But we're not we're, we're not. But the my we've been on this channel with just me before, okay? Mm -hmm. And we've made six hundred and fifty dollars on PayPal in two and a half hours. So yeah. they don't really. My guys over here, even though I say, you know, I try to set a hundred dollars for yeah, right. uh, a the weekend or a hundred dollars for Friday, hundred dollars for Saturday or whatever. Um, they don't really, they like to see the goal reach, but they don't, they don't necessarily stop at the goal. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so uh, that's a good challenge, Stuck. I really appreciate that, brother. Uh, cool. we'll, we'll see what happens. I got the phone right here. We'll see what happens. <laughs> the nice young ladies and gentlemen. I actually don't have anything to do today but laundry, so um, I'm sure my earbuds will pop out here in about 10 minutes or so, and, uh, you know. Um, well, I mean, here, I mean, I gotta, I, I have appointments this afternoon, of course, but um, which I'm stoked that they slid because otherwise, having a having a, having us on on Saturday would just be weird, right? Because that's like the day that is Jeremy's live stream, right? Saturday mornings. And so I was really glad that that was that was able to slide. I'm going to be doing some interviews this afternoon with some I guess they're like actors or whatever. If you guys have ever seen the movie Tremors, uh, not Kevin Bacon, <laughs> but right. um, they were in uh, they're in the most recent one. I guess there's an American guy and there's a Thai guy. And I think we're inter we're interviewing those. So that'll, that'll be kind of fun. But for the most part, I mean, shoot, dude, it's only 1040. We got plenty of time, plenty of time. <clears throat> May the force be with you. Yeah, that's a good. Uh, that's a good thing. It's deep. I like sayings like that. May you be a force to change your community. Yeah, I completely agree. I mean, look at the end of the day, it's a lot what Jeremy talked about, which is like add value, dude. I mean, I wake up in the morning and I'm like, how am I going to add value? Um, I don't expect that's, others to add value. So that's what I go for, and that's why when we talked earlier, when we talked about uh, Patea going to Patea. Um, that's going to add value to the community because that my community, I know my community very well. They're going to want to know about what's going on. And I tell you, I haven't made a video down there in a long time. Now there are some people like Stuck, for example, he doesn't care. <laughs> like he, yeah, you know, right. he's not in, that's not his thing, but, um, there are many more that do. Um, and I think it's been, um, uh, uh I don't know. I, I get I get lost in 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 thought when I start thinking about uh, heavy things like my channel. Adding value is something. There would be no 
27,000 subscribers um, on my channel if I didn't add value in some way. And I have to tell you that yesterday, after my video, um, one of my subscribers, I think he subscribed to me, but he's definitely a really good person, um, saw me um, asking about, you know, creating better content. Well, this okay. person happens to have uh, had a good experience on how to develop your content, create your content, how to understand the YouTube algorithm and everything. Okay. And after that, um, after the chat, I was sent all that information. Um, okay. So that is a potential. It, it's going to take six to eight months for me to dial it in. But um, that's potential to, to really dial it in to the point where um, I'll make a B visa myself and have a, a company. And nice. uh, Good for you. you know, that, that kind of thing. Um, that's cool. I, I'm, I'm very interested in what did Dion say? Jeremy, I saw you had a video on something like the top 10 things not to do and Patty and had huge views. Yeah, that's your two million. Yeah, that's my 2.6 million, I think, uh, view video. And I made that video. This is why I don't get stuck or caught up really on, you know, how good everything's got to be. Because I sat down from a weekend in uh, Patea with uh, the idiot that tried to troll my channel, one of them, uh, okay. today. And after a weekend with him and seeing him get burnt, because he's very easily taken advantage of. Um, okay. I sat down and said, uh, uh, look, these are things, as a man, these are things you don't want to do. Okay? And these were my suggestions. Now, I'm going to do an update video on that um, after Patia starts to really reopen. And we'll see how that video does, because some of those rules in there that I put, or suggestions, as I called them, were... Right. Um, a little bit premature. I didn't uh, fully understand the entire, I, I didn't know as much about the whole experience then as I know now, because that video is over well over a year old. Um, and I've had a lot more experience since then. So but that was, was that specific to Patia or was that like, just basically, I think the title of it is what not to do as an expat in Thailand, right? Nope. That's not it. The, uh, it is a few suggestions for, uh, oh, men. Cool. Yeah, vacation. Brief vacation. Yeah, yeah. On the, yeah. on the thumbnail of my good friend, Jessica, and it says, listen to me. Um, Jessica is the one from the Philippines who's the school teacher in Patea now? No, she's, no, she lives in America, but she's, uh, she's half Filipino. Her, her mother is Filipino and her father is American. Got it. Okay, cool. Todd just posted yeah. a great article from the Phuket News on, on it opening. So thank you very much, Todd. I think he's got a deal so people can click on that, right? Yeah, awesome. Thanks, Todd. Appreciate it. Um, Phuket News, I'm also a fan of. Um, I really like the Tiger, though, because obviously they're focused on a little bit more of, of Thailand, that sort of thing. Do you ever listen? I think it's a, oh, my God. I think it's a, um, I think it's a YouTube video. It's like, um, maybe it's the Patty of news. He's, it's a British guy and he always ends it with, uh, mitts, masks, and meters. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. I haven't heard that. I, I know that, uh, the Patty news, uh, has a website, but okay. I don't know that they have, I, I, I don't watch their website. I just get their email. I, I signed up uh, for their email list. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's smart. That's pretty good. What other areas, do, what other sources do you use to get information on Patia? I mean, like I said, you got plenty of friends down there. Do they like ping you with updates I, and stuff? Or? A lot of friends down there because no matter what the news says, you know, firsthand experience is, oh, yeah. um, it, you know, you can't really, you can't really speak. Um, uh, oh, Senior Frank says you can charge one AirPod at a time. Let's see if that works. Let's see if you can There's see a microphone in each one. Or do you just use them as a headphone? You, you just use them as headphones. 
Can you hear me? I can hear you, yeah. Um, no, can't hear me? Yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can't, can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't hear you. Okay, you. I'm, I'm going I'm going to charge them real quick, right. Mike. Awesome. That's cool. Five minutes. Five, five. Oh, that's easy, man. Five minutes is a piece of cake. Fabulous 103. Thank you very much. Yeah, I know. I was sitting there and I'm going, that's right. It's a fabulous media group. Or actually, what do they call it? Um, no, no, that's the, the yeah, they're part of it's Kiss FM, right? And Fabulous 103. Yeah. Yeah, that guy's got kind of a cool voice. I do like the whole uh, mitts, masks, and meters thing that he enters with. I do like their data. It's like a real concise sort of thing that's uh, that's going on. Thank you, Ron. Appreciate it, man. Um, are those Apple AirPods or no? Oh, you can't hear me at all? You've got, like, no ability to hear anything? Oh, I didn't realize that. Okay, well, that's fine. I guess I'll just... Uh, I'll tell you what, let me see if I can, can I do this? Uh, it doesn't really matter. Ah, I didn't realize that he's just basically going to have like no audio and that's too bad. He should just like change it to the speakers in his, in his laptop, but I guess he wants to charge. I guess that could be, that could make sense. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous Patea. Yeah, thanks Robert. <clears throat> One thing I've noticed is more ties traveling to tourist places like Phuket, which is nice to see. Yeah, normally to Phuket, right, is not sort of the, the tourist area of uh for ties right um they'll do they'll they will travel like you know samui and that sort of thing but for the most part phuket is pretty foreigner focused you know um reclaiming their country not a foreign tourist yeah i mean it's kind of nice right i mean it, it, good for them too and uh so apple airpods you, you mean he has apple airpods or apple airpods you can charge one at a time i've never used them for the for the main reason that they that they die like that, um, that would dis disappoint me. I do have some Bluetooth headphones that I use, and they were given to me for free, actually, from uh, when I was president of this user group. Wait a minute, so you can hear me, Jeremy, or you can't hear me? No, he can't hear me. He can talk, but he can't hear me. That's a bummer. I'll have to uh, I'll have to educate him on how he can do that a little better. Um, yeah, there you go. If you haven't hit the like button, please do so. Um, it's interesting how, uh, and, you know, to that point, um, the ties vacationing, like in Phuket as well as other places, one of the reasons why I travel the way I travel, especially when I'm going to a destination for the first time, um, is I travel Sunday through Thursday uh, because, for the most part, the ties have gone home by then. Um, or, you, well, meaning Sunday night I'll get there kind of as they're leaving. But additionally, because of this Air Asia pass, I'm really able to get flights pretty much Monday through Thursday. And then when I'm able to do that, um, I just have an amazing time. I will tell you, though, a couple of places that I've been, uh, and especially when it's sort of in a high tourist area. OK, so, for example, at Copanyang, where you get off the ferry right um, at uh, Tong Sala. That's kind of like a high sort of tourist area. There's a lot of a lot more Western type thing. But, you know, going up into the other beaches where there's basically more Thai tourists, um, I was not, you know, I had a great time. But in the high tourist areas, a lot of times when I'm going there and really the only kind of tourists they were going to get were foreigners anyway, then sometimes uh, it's disappointing because they get really a little bit too aggressive for me. Um and so that's, uh, oh, both. Nice. Been getting a uh, good use out of my weird Logitech headset, three and a half millimeter. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely, dude. Logitech makes really good stuff. And, and a lot of the plug-in ones really have decent fidelity. I, I totally agree. So, Dion, you're asking about the AirAsia Pass. So, again, this is not available now for purchase, but it was for about two and a half weeks. Um, and the deal was is that you pay Air Asia uh, two thousand nine hundred ninety nine baht, three thousand baht, basically one hundred dollars. Uh, and with that, you're able to essentially fly anywhere in Thailand. It was a domestic pass um, for free. And I put free obviously in air quotes because you are paying tax on some things. You have to pay airport taxes on things. So therefore, um, as an example, when I book a flight, or Dave, same thing. Uh, if you want to, you know, if you've watched uh, Gotta Love Thailand, him. Um, you basically make a reservation. You put, you get a code, you get a new code each time you sort of log in. 
and you say, okay, give me this code. And then you take that code and it automatically populates or you copy and paste it into the, into the, you know, where, you, where you're paying. But the nice thing about doing it ahead of time is that when you look at flights and for the most part, it's the flights that aren't necessarily as, oh, I don't know, desirable, right? But the point is, is that, you know, you're paying like a hundred baht. You're paying like a hundred baht one way. I, most round trips I take, it's like 50 baht to leave the uh, Suvarna Boom or Don Juan. That's the other thing too, if you don't know. So uh, uh, Air Asia is now flying out of uh, Suvarna Boom, which is pretty awesome. So you, you still can't hear? Okay. Um, is that uh, it's, uh, they're flying out of Suvarna Boom, which is really nice. Um and that's actually how I'm going to uh, Krabi. So I'm going out of Savannah Boom on Air Asia, which is crazy, right? Yeah. So anyway, so it's like usually 100 baht down and like 50 baht to get yes, back. Sir. All right. There you go, buddy. Is rocking it yeah. now? There right. you go. I knew I could hear you breathing, but for some reason I couldn't. Uh, I couldn't. I guess you couldn't <laughs> hear me, which makes me no. think that you're using the microphone in your laptop and not the microphone in your Okay, got it. All right, good. So just so I am you know because the, for some reason the setting on Streamyards mm -hmm. will not allow me to, to do both. On my live stream oh. yesterday, I could do both. It, it it's the mic and the and the uh, yeah uh, speaker. But uh -huh. for some reason on Streamyard, when I tried, you remember you and I were trying to do a yeah. test on that one day, oh, and yeah. it it didn't work. Wasn't happening. Interesting. That's very good. Yeah, I mean, I've tried the different earbuds. I do. I mean, if I, I prefer the plug-in ones. I got these plug-in ones that were only twenty dollars. To Hike's point, you know, his his Logitech. I got these JBLs for twenty dollars. They sound stellar, man. They have so much low end. I mean, obviously, considering the size of the, you know, the coil, obviously, you're not going to get awesome. But it's pretty one dart. Oh yeah, thank you, one hungry travel. Yeah, so that's an important safety tip. So you got to make your reservations twenty one days in advance. Um, and there are some flights for sure that are unavailable. So. You know, if you have this fantasy that you're going to leave Bangkok on Friday night and come back Sunday night, that's what everyone else wants to do. <laughs> so those aren't as <laughs> Monday to Thursday. It's totally, it's totally a good deal. It is a good deal. Uh, yes, too bad that you missed it or whatever. I will tell you right now, though, the nice thing about AirAsia is they come up with these things all the time. And, you know, I, I think especially after this Phuket project thing, there's going to be a lot more push for domestic travel here in Thailand. When I'm on these planes, I spend extra money. It's like 500 baht or whatever to get the emergency exit row because I, I need extra leg room. Otherwise, I'm going to be really disappointed. And let's face it, the, the leg room in an Air Asia flight is ridiculous. It's like 28 centimeters. It's just offensive. But it's Air Asia. It's not Air white guy from America, you know, who's like 6'2". <laughs> hey, if you're 40 kilos, you're getting, I mean, I've seen the ties sit in there and, you know, they're like, oh, my God, look at all this leg room we got. I'm like, yes, well. You also can't reach your luggage. You look at me for that. And so um, I uh, I get the so so it ends up basically costing me out of pocket like a thousand bot round trip. Um, the good news, though, is that I've been able to sort of figure out how to travel with less than seven kilos all in, which includes my laptop and my camera and my gimbal and, you know, gear and chargers and an extra phone and all that and then some clothes. But uh, I've also noticed that they are pretty lax right now. If you've ever been on some Air Asia flights, they're very, uh, they're very militant about the amount that you're carrying on because the minute you go over seven kilos, they get to charge you for 20 kilo check-in, which is usually another 500 baht. But they've been yeah. pretty flexible lately. So, um, so that's, that's been pretty good. Pretty much have to travel Friday through Sunday. Yeah. And again, that's, you know, but th that said though, don't forget, like, I mean, it's, it's not low season. It's no season. So there are flights yeah. for sure that are available. Uh, and so I, my point is, is that when a deal like this comes up again, which AirAsia will definitely do, you know, I would encourage you to take it. For me, it was just like, OK, well, if I even if I only take one flight, you know, I spent 3000 baht, 3000 baht on a round trip flight in, 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 in Thailand is very common. So what's up, Asia Unscripted? Good to see you, man. How you doing, buddy? Uh He's back in Seattle. Is that right? Somewhere, somewhere in that neighborhood. Yeah. Bangkok Air gave me forty kilograms free luggage allowance and was fourteen hundred to Phuket to Bangkok. One way, yeah. No, I mean I get it. Look, look, Bangkok Airways has an infinitely more customer-focused model in in their in their culture. Um, 
Did they did they still give you orange juice and in, uh, in popcorn? <laughs> I no, I guess they can't serve food. That's the other thing is you, you know you can't bring you can't even bring in your own food on 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 uh, on board. So, but I I like Bangkok Airways, man. The customer service is great. Uh, travel like I've never, yeah, I, I've never flown them. I would love to. Yeah, they're pretty good. I mean, you know, they have the planes are. Um, I think the leg. Well, I was gonna say I think the leg room's better. Every plane has better legroom than Air Asia. That's absolutely uh, six feet eight, dude. Yeah. Absolutely, you need you're paying extra, but it's worth it. You know, it's totally worth it. Seattle, thank you Definitely. very much. Good to see you, Jason. Yeah, glad you made it back there. Yeah, glad you're safe too, uh, Jason. Good, it, good, very good, very good, very good, very good, very good. All right, dude, I got to grab something to drink. It's all you. You're going with. Uh, you're basically you're going with Pigeon Camp. Pigeon cam, pigeon cam. I love pigeon cam. I, I I still need. I can set a pigeon cam up outside here, um, on the balcony. But the problem is, I really think that the pigeons would eat the camera. I mean, I really believe that. I believe I would have to put up some type of protection uh, around the camera or something like that. I have a great view of uh, the western part of Bangkok um, where I'm at. And I would really like to show you guys some of that, but it might give away where I'm living. And uh, that's something that everybody needs to take, uh, in my opinion, uh, something that everyone needs to take into consideration when they show um, things around them, their environment, that kind of thing. Um, don't give away your address. Let people find it the hard way because that means they've probably done something illegal. Um, Cody, you are late to the, uh, uh, live stream here. Very, very late, Cody. Very late. Shame on you. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you had to go pick up the kid from work. She was a Whataburger. Oh, she wanted Whataburger. Good dude. I would love to have Whataburger. Oh my God. I would love that Whataburger. You are in a secret location. No, I am not in a secret location. I'm just not in a location that I'm going to give away. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure there's plenty of people that have done the research and know where I live. So um, I hope that this Green Lane Phuket thing uh, works out. I hope that it opens up travel. I, I really don't see. This is just my personal opinion, guys. Okay. This is just my personal opinion. Um. I don't really see um, what the TAT is going to do other than uh, have some type of soft opening. Um, this soft opening, obviously, we, we think it's going to occur in Phuket. Um, I don't know that for sure, but that's kind of what it looks like. Um, secondly, I would say that uh, I think they're going to have to open up more places uh, a lot sooner. And I believe that um, travel should uh, resume um, sooner than, uh, you know, there, there was talks. There's all kind of hypotheticals. It just like this reminds me of talking about politics, right? There's always hypotheticals and there's always somebody that knows something nobody else does and uh, that kind of thing. So I think, I honestly think that, that, that Thailand will desperately see the need for, uh, especially some of these um, expats that are overseas that are on like retirement visas, but they can't get back here. Um, that, that's that's going to cause a little hiccup in everybody's uh, agenda, I believe. And I would really like to see uh, Thailand open back up uh, safely, of course, but um, also as soon as possible. I think that would be great. What do you think, Mike? <laughs> it's kind of weird, right? Because it's like, OK, so what is going to... Um what is going to be sort of like, you know, I guess the tipping point, because I can understand why some people have been like, hey, so, uh, yeah, you guys are doing really great right now, but people are going to get infected anyway. And so you guys are just way at the tail end, like, you know, the the inevitable. Is 
and I just flashed on that. I think the signal just dropped for a second. So sorry. About you froze, that. yeah. 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 So you said I, I think uh, you said I think you guys are doing great right now, and then you went away. <laughs> yeah, it's like Thailand's doing great right now, right? But is it is is the inevitable coming, right? And I and I would agree, you know, there's going to be a shot or something that you potentially are going to take in the future and or can take or whatever. But I don't know. I mean, like Jeremy was saying, I mean, eventually they're going to be like, look, <laughs> this is the equivalent of us shutting down all of the factories that produce automobiles. Like we just we exactly. just got to figure it out because. You can say, well, you know, tourism isn't critical and that sort of thing. No, I mean, every single country pretty much agrees that that is a easier way, you know, to basically bring in revenue for the country. And and arguably, you know, that is one of the things that Thailand is known for. I mean, you don't sit at home in the United States and say, man, I can't wait to cruise over to Thailand because, you know, they make 12 percent of the world's tires. Nobody is going to say that they're going to be like beaches, right. pools, you know, that's sort of red light, <laughs> you know, so. So, I mean, I think it's an important thing, but the thing that I do love, like you were saying, is safety. You know, I mean, that is that is their priority. And yeah, uh, yeah. and as someone living over here who has, you know, like you, ridiculously awesome health insurance, I'm less concerned about that. But by right. the same token, you know, just because, you know, the, there are a finite number of beds in the hospitals, right? right. So yeah. you know, I would prefer to not have to wait in line, you know, to get my, which of course you never do in Thailand when you go to like a foreign hospital. But in any case, I think that, um, I think that, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those deals where at the end of the day, it's simply the, uh, the inevitable. There's going to be a solution. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just simply going to show up, <laughs> Uh, it's just simply going to show up uh, sl slower than we'd like, you know, kind of thing. So, mm -hmm. uh, I I agree a hundred percent. I think that's exactly what's going to happen, and I'm looking forward to it. I I, I think the um, one of the things that concerns me is like I have friends that have retirement visas. I have friends that have. Mm -hmm. Um, other kinds of visas that are stuck in America or stuck in England, right? Or stuck in the UK, whatever. Did I say England, I'm just, it's, you, whatever. They're stuck somewhere across the world, right? Um, and they can't get back. And I would really, 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 really um, love to uh, get some of those people, see some of those people again. Um, those are yeah. some very, very positive, positive people that come over here and, uh, um, I really enjoy their company when they're here. So that's something I would be, um, super interested in Thailand. See, and you really, they're talking about all these visas and the medical visas and mm -hmm. instituting new visas and that kind of thing. So uh, kind of, it would make sense to me that. Okay, you've already gave given the the visas that you're going to um, let in first, right? They've already put that out. So in the next round, the retirement visa holders have got to be some of the first, I would think, um, depending upon, I guess, whether or not you have kids or a spouse or something like that. Well, yeah, if you have that, you can get it now, right? I mean, if you have an O where you've got like, you that's, know, kids. That's what I read, yeah. If you got a, if you got a B visa. One of the things that I'm not completely clear on is, is, is it just having a B visa or do you need to have a B visa and the accompanying work permit to be able to get it? Well, the, a lot of work anyway. The way I understand it is, so you can't get a work permit outside of Thailand. Uh, so you you can't like like you know you can get a B visa uh, a ninety day B visa at a consulate come in then they convert it to a one year and when they convert it the same day you go get your work permit yeah so um, you can't you can't get a work you can't just like if you're if you didn't get stuck outside of Thailand with a work permit like for example let me give an example. If I would have gone home the day before um, this all started and now they're letting people with B visas back in, right? 
Mm-hmm. I would still have my work per- provided I still have my job. I would still have my work permit and my B visa and I right. could come back in probably. That brings um, up a good point though. It's like if you if that scenario did occur and you left your job, I mean they're gonna yeah. report that your v- v- that your work permit is essentially not really valid any longer, right? Won't, won't most well, companies that, do that? that depends. Most companies would, would do that, but it also depends on what it is that you're doing because um it like let's say my school shut down for this entire period of time. Right. And they basically furloughed the employees, right? Yeah, so yeah. I could have flown back to America and then they would have sent me an email saying, Hey, we're reopening. Uh, right. Yeah. Come back over. So yeah, that's, that's just another way to look at it. I that's guess. true. Yeah. That may be good. You know, I mean, Sean brings up a really, this is a really good point. You know, there's still tons of ties that can't get back, you know, on, on these repeat because the, the, there is a finite that's number true. of repatriation flights. And if I'm not mistaken, they're letting in a maximum of 200 per day. Is that the same data that you get? I'm not. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's the data I got. But, uh, oh, Joe, I wanted to thank you for the five bucks in PayPal, dude. I really appreciate that. That's <laughs> very gracious. And uh, that, along with the $20 that Dave gave me, Gracie and I are going to eat like kings. <laughs> <laughs> when she gets over here, I promise I'll send you a selfie, man. I can't wait for that to happen. Able to get a new work permit without leaving when I moved from Phuket to Bangkok. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Did you change companies or did the company just update it based on based on address? I'm curious about that. Has to be canceled and do the new. Pro- OK, got it. Yeah, I send it. Mm-hmm. Five. Really? Five hundred people? Yeah. A day? No, it's five hundred bot a day. Uh, if you don't cancel the work permit, uh, I think that's what I mean. Got it. Got it. Got it. OK, that makes sense. Yeah, because technically you're an overstay when you when you cancel your work permit, your B visa cancels. <clears throat> so um you can get a uh uh yeah he he said different school so mm-hmm. they can have the bb sur- if the, it's possible in thailand it's not probable but it's possible if you can get two schools to work together or two companies or two whatever oh he's talking about 500 people right i read 200 yeah but uh just to finish my my what I was saying here, it's possible to get a transfer of a non B visa and a transfer of work permit if you're in the same province. If you're in the same province, it's possible. Mm-hmm. Um, but if not, you got to cancel everything, go out of the country, come back in, start a process all over. That if you don't do that, you're technically an overstay um, the day your work permit is canceled because that cancels the visa. So you're looking yeah. at five hundred bucks a day. That's where I got the five hundred bucks from. So if you're given, so like the V visa I'm getting is two year visa. So, which allows me effectively on like day 700 or whatever to leave right. the country at that time, come back in and get stamped in because it's for one year. I get a one year stamp. So I suppose the question then is, you know, let's say the company, meaning your B visa is canceled when your work permit is canceled, meaning the company notifies immigration, hey, He's no longer working for us, right? And at that moment, you're supposed to effectively leave the country. Is that the way this system works? Uh, they give you 24 hours to leave the country. Yeah. Okay, but you, you're yeah. supposed to leave. Yeah. Most of the time, you can talk to immigration. You can talk to immigration, and if you're nice to them, they'll give you a seven day stamp uh, to okay. get, get your get life your together. Affairs in order. Yeah. Okay. Uh, before you have to get out. Um, but in your case, the smart visa, uh, some, some of the, uh, some of the smart visas don't even require a, a work permit because it's just a, like the smart visa is a working visa, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Just to be clear, I'm not uh, getting a smart visa. I, I talk about it a lot and it's something that is definitely an option, but I'm getting a, a, a B visa because I'm, you know, part of this company, right? Right, so, right, right. I still think the smart visa is a very good idea um, if that is, uh, you know, if that's something you're going to do. I mean, don't just do it and lie, right? Um, but if you're actually an entrepreneur and you're going to be starting a company. Now, don't forget, I mean, there's there's a bunch of different versions, you know. So like I said on yesterday, last night's live stream, make sure you Google smart visa. The other nice thing about that is, you know, I mean, you can't just like call the B visa section of immigration and set up a webinar. 
With Smart Visa, you absolutely do that. You go to the website, you put your email address in, and you're like, look, I'd like to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation. And I did that. It was like an hour-long Zoom call. And the woman answered all of my questions. And that was pretty awesome. Additionally, she, I, asked, I asked her one specific thing, and she gave me an answer. And I thought, okay, well, that's disappointing, but thank you for the data. She emailed me back like 15 minutes after the call was over. She goes, no, 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 I double-checked. I'm sorry. That's actually not the way it is. Here are the steps that you would need to take to do. So, I mean, she's very, she and her team, very professional. Her English was stellar. Um, and so if you're if you're thinking about that, read. Uh, seriously, did I just pause again? There you are. Yeah, you're back. Uh, anyway, reach out, Google Smart Visa, sign up, and then get the one-on-one. -on -one. Don't take Mike's advice. <laughs> Talk to them. <laughs> Let me uh, let me catch a few over here in my comment section, if you don't mind, uh, mm. Mike. Um, Cody is Co Cody's talking. Um, she works at Subway and already tired of it. She turned down Whataburger job because she said didn't want to start hosting it. <laughs> um, Walking ATM for sick Buffalo says no reason to open up until things improve. Well, I mean, if you're talking about here in Thailand, things are we're number one in the world, baby. Um, but I, I know what he's saying. He's talking about yeah. worldwide. Um, right, right, right. Stuck says it, if I worked at Subway, they would never have to worry about me eating their food. If I worked at Subway, I would probably not last very long because that's all I would eat. Um, <laughs> you wouldn't be the new Jared. <laughs> no, I would not be the new Jared. I would probably be the fired employee for eating too much. I'd pay for it. Don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying I would do it. It'd, 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 it'd be a lot. Right. Um, uh, Cody says Subway is good, but after eating it five times a week, you don't hate it. Uh, just get tired of the same thing. Really, no, I, I could eat it every day. I could eat it every day. <laughs> I could find a new combination every day. Uh, then he says, I like how Subway convenience and entire nation. Uh, eating a loaf of bread was good for your, your diet. Oh, convinced that a loaf of bread is good for your diet. Yeah, well, they used to have these, uh, that for a while they had the wraps. They need to go back to those that are uh, less starchy. Um, and then Walk ATM, Sick Buffalo says those guys on retirement visas can wait it out. I beg, beg to differ from you. They paid for those visas. They deserve it uh, uh, to be able to come back in. Um, Parky says no one coming back until all the bars and everything open. What's the point coming to a ghost town? Oh, there's many advantages to coming to a ghost town. Many. Yeah. Um, Big uh, Cody fish, says, pond, you know, kind of thing. Yes. Uh, I'm not going until the night scene is back. Just me, Cody says. And that's the other thing you have to remember. People are not gonna. People are not. The only the rich are gonna come initially. Like, mm -hmm. people are not just going to come back over here all of a sudden. Um, sorry, we're watching Smart Visa there for a second. But people are not going to come back all of a sudden um, right off the bat. Um, and then Robert put up my PayPal link. And Stuck in Florida says, come on, guys. We need 30 more dollars to meet nice. the <laughs> Do so that weekend challenge, baby. Yes, get that uh, get that thirty in for stuck in Florida, and then he's gonna, uh, I think, hit it with twenty more. I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, appreciate that stuck in Florida. Uh, walking ATMs with so many restrictions to travel now. Might as well stay home and wait it out. Depends on how much you love to travel. Um, in my opinion, uh, then he says, "How often do you eat Western food there?" Um, not a lot, not a lot. I've learned to eat Thai food. I've learned what Thai food I can eat that's not um, uh, gonna kill me. <laughs> and when I say gonna kill me, I mean like you know gonna gonna kill me for the next day uh, or twelve hours later, however long it takes it to get through my digestive system. Um, <laughs> if it's too spicy. Yeah, yeah. So I I can I, I found a few things I can eat that are a little bit spicy. Uh, grab food has been just a blessing, uh, really, because I can uh, pick up some. You, you can order directly from some of these yeah. restaurants. And, totally. Uh, I think that's going to be awesome. Have you ever been to the Mekon River? Yes, I have. If so, what are your thoughts? It was beautiful. I was in Sabanak at Laos, or Laos, and um, I ate uh, dinner that night with my friend Steve. 
uh, not Montelli, the Steve that you see in the videos uh, on my channel. Um, that's where we actually met was on that beach run. And uh, we had dinner on a floating pier that night in uh, Laos, uh, looking across at Thailand from the Mekong. Nice work. Let me answer Tom's question. The uh, cost of a smart visa, the one I was speaking of, because there's basically five versions, is $300, basically, 10000 baht. Whether you get the six-month one or the one-year one, I wanted to let you guys know that I threw up a URL to basically uh, this website. And um, just to clarify you know how to go to it, there are obviously these are the qualifications for each type of visa. The one that I was speaking of is basically the startup one. Uh, this actually lists the amount of people that have received it. So, um, you know, there are people that have certain talent. Obviously, the investor one is the most expensive, and that's why there's the least amount of people. But they go into they go into a great uh, amount of uh, detail into this as far as, you know. But at the end of the day, best thing you can do is just basically email these folks, set up an appointment, ask them your questions. I'm telling you, it is a it is a really interesting option pretty much provided you are already here it's going to be a little bit easier it's possible to do outside of the country but at the end of the day um at the end of the day you're going to want to be over here for that so yeah. I have my, my Hello, 25 cents on that okay what is uh oh mitch thanks Bob. thanks a lot buddy i appreciate the paypal Mr. Mitch, live the dream. I will. Your wish is my command, sir. Thank you so much for five bucks, buddy. I appreciate that. That's, I'm honored. Absolutely honored. Yeah, so Hingham is a small suburb of Boston, and that's where I uh, basically I have the address there for that. So basically, Massachusetts is my home state for now. And uh, yeah, the ghost beaches you're talking about, Hugh, is absolutely, absolutely correct. We refer to those as only child beaches here at uh, at the cool kids table so yeah sure T check it out tom i mean again if you have any questions ask them first <laughs> and then tell me <laughs> uh you're, you're welcome to ask me a question any of you guys are welcome to ask me or i'm certainly jeremy too but for me all you got to do is email live my ass off at gmail.com um you know but for jeremy obviously chatting with him and that sort of thing is easy to do too what do you usually do do you, do you guys just reach out to you on facebook or do you just have them basically wait till a live stream and chat then Usually it's Facebook Messenger and something I, you know, I hate to say this well because it's going to sound harsh, but what people will do is they've learned what time I wake up in the morning during the week. Okay. Yeah? And they'll hit me with a big question that requires a lot of typing and a lot of information, right? Okay. And I just don't have time in the morning uh, to answer that question. And I hope that nobody's feelings have been hurt by that um, because I'm getting ready to go to go to work. It's not like I'm trying to ignore them in any way, form or fashion. Um, so, you know, that I believe that's got misunderstood several times. Um, also, uh, I think it's. You know, when that when then when I come home from work and I try to get a little bit done on the computer, I get hit with a bunch more messages <laughs> because they know I'm getting off work, uh, that kind of thing. So it's just the uh, you know if if I don't get back to you right at the um, when you send the message, I try to get back to everybody when they send the message. But if it's in the middle of the day and I'm teaching, I can't I can't even touch my phone. So. Um, yeah. You know, just just remember, guys, if I don't get back to you, it's not because I hate you. It's not because I don't care about you. It's not because I mean, any of that stuff. Uh, it's just because I'm I can't at the moment. So. Find a number yeah. of attention. It's just like all of us. Absolutely. Joseph, good to see you, buddy. Hey, Joseph, I wanted to let you know. I wanted to show this up there. The I, I actually bought a smoothie with the money that you sent me the other day. I bought actually two over the course of the last few days. Uh, coconut, <laughs> coconut smoothie. So thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate it. Todd's out F1 race in the morning. Ah, Mercedes suck. They should uh, oh, stay. F1. He likes that F1. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Really? You think they're – who's – was McLaren still really, like, in competition for those guys? Who's the best? Honda? I don't That's even know. That's a good question. I don't follow Todd, up. take care, man. Good to see you. Peace, buddy. And uh, thanks for dropping by, brother. Appreciate you we very should, much. You should call thanks him Mr. Elite. Yeah, Mr. Elite. <laughs> 
We're going to build an eco nomad resort 500 meters from Nemran Rayong, so could be good options. Cheers. There you go. Good for you. good for you, man. I mean, if you can get the property cheap now, I assume, you know, kind of thing. But uh, ideally, your business plan involves not having any profit for the first couple of years <laughs> um, because resorts yeah. are not exactly overpopulated right now. So. Yeah, they're, they're, they're definitely not. If you're over on my channel, uh, let's try to get 40 likes. And to do that, we need four more. Uh, thumbs up. So if you hadn't hit the thumbs up button, hit the thumbs up button. And I got a feeling the stream is coming to an end here. So um, wow, it's 1130. Uh, I know. I know. Um, Wait, how much more money uh, is do you need for the 100? What did he say? What did Stuck say? 30? 30. Yeah. So I'm waiting to see, waiting to see if 30 comes in. And uh, gonna 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 wait to see if if the thirty comes in for a little bit longer, and nice. uh, if it doesn't, we'll shut oh. it down. No, that wasn't it. Ah, see, that's such a positive uh, positive sound. Todd says Mercedes made like about a full second over the rest of the field. Really? <laughs> okay, I mean that's significant, I guess, in F one. Wow, Mercedes are doing that well in F one. Hmm. I didn't know that F one's not uh, racing that I really grew up on or grew up around, so I don't know a whole no, lot about it. But you're a NASCAR um, guy. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was. I've I, the whole with the way the whole sporting everything is going in America. I've just in NFL football is my favorite sport to watch. Oh, period. Okay. Right? Um, but they are even. I just, I, I just, I, I just can't. I just can't. Not working for I, I you can't. Have. Yeah, and I, I just, it, it's not. Uh, it's not about what their, what their cause is about. It's mm. about, it's about the the. The doing it when they're doing it. That's that's my, that's that's my issue, and that's all I'm going to say about it because I don't want to talk about. it. Beauty of car racing, right? Is like, I mean, you really don't need an audience. I mean, obviously there was in the past, but at the end of the day, many people will watch it on TV, right? Yeah. So that's interesting. Yeah. Tom, Tom's like, dude, I can get 1.6 rye for 50,000 USD, which of course is, you know, 1.5 million bot. Man, that's, I, I don't know. In my experience, that's, that's expensive. But again, it depends where it is. If it's all beachfront, dude, I mean, yeah. You've got you know a thousand meters of uh, beachfront. That's pretty awesome. Good for you. That oh my god! Real. I got a live pigeon out on the railing, but the camera's not going to be able to pick him up. Damn! Tim. <laughs> I was talking about. Um, I was talking about the. Uh, oh, Stuck said I was talking about your pigeon cam and how I could I could do the same thing, but I'm scared that the pigeons would eat the camera. Um, you think? I don't know. They don't yeah. seem really interested in the camera. Ah, oh, Joe. Uh, thank you, man. You. Thank you. Thank you uh, for the $5 super chat. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Stuck, are you willing to count that towards the uh, PayPal? I'm sure it will be. What was um, his challenge? Every time someone gives 20, he'll give 10. I can't remember exactly what he said. Some, it was something. something like that. Something yeah. like that, but he uh, he's basically said, uh, well, here he said, grilled fish with spicy somtom papaya salad is one of my favorite meals in Thailand. That sounds good without the spices. Um, yeah, right. But ba basically, we had 30 to go, and then he would pay 20. So, um, that you know, if you want, if somebody wants to hit uh, 25 on the PayPal machine to do more live channels, then I'm sure. Uh, stuck would probably uh, come on through with that. I'm sure. Yeah, he said they just uh, typed in, of course, with a big thumbs up. So, of course. What are you going to do next gonna, Saturday if you're in Pattaya for your live stream? You're just going to do it like from the beach or something? Well, um, I'm probably going to kind of stay in touch with you a little bit. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, maybe see if we can't do a set down live stream some at one day yep. one of the day that we're there doesn't have to be at the same time or any of that stuff i for next weekend i was trying this weekend to build up as much money for the travel fund as possible right yeah uh, or for the channel fund because i want to go down there and i want to stay at a decent hotel and i want to be able to tell people that 
uh, or want to be able to show people that there are, um, you know, extensive um, perks of Patea. Like, there's so much more to do than just the nightlife. I keep telling people that nobody listens. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, well, some people do. But the point of the, the, of the matter is, you know, I, I haven't had a vacation in a long, long, long time. And I, I, while I am definitely going to record some, I don't know how much live streaming I'll be doing or when it will be done. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I just don't know. I, re- I really want to go enjoy myself, Mike. That's what I'm, that's totally. what I'm getting at, you know? Yeah, and you. Uh, well, I, I, I completely enjoy these live streams. Don't get me wrong, guys. A uh, hundred million percent enjoy the live streams. Um, I, I do this, uh, well, Obviously, we get value, monetary value out of, but I would still do it regardless um, if there was no PayPal, but, but or if there was no super chat or whatever. Um, and the reason for that is is because the interaction I get with my community, and it, they always help. Uh, if I'm having a bad day, uh, they always lift me up, and it's uh, awesome. Joe Pinto bought you a smoothie. <laughs> That's Thank awesome. you. Appreciate it, buddy. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Joe hit me with one, too. Uh, Dion said, Jeremy, take a trip to Phuket one weekend, and I'll show you some good spots, a good time to be there. I'll, I I can definitely do that at some point. I'm, I'm back at least once a month. Okay. I can do that, Dion, uh, at, at some point. There's just got to be uh, – the reason I chose Patea is for the reasons we talked about earlier in the video. But the main thing is I know Patea, and I know the where I'm going. I know where I want to eat. I know where the things are. I know where the shopping is. I know what time uh, certain places do things and all that stuff. So I want to be in a familiar area so that I don't have to stress about being there. So that's kind of my Patea story. Dion, when you cruising back, I mean, I can obviously get down there pretty easily, especially if I know 21 days in advance. <laughs> and Rob, actually, Rob is here this weekend. He hasn't pinged me yet. I knew he was going out with Fawn on Friday. I don't know what he did yesterday. I, I'll actually have to send him a message and see what he's up to for the next couple of days. But he's hanging out up yeah. here. But yeah, Dion, let me know when you go back down, dude. I haven't seen Rob, but one time I've only met him once. And mm-hmm. uh that was a good. That was a good meeting because I got to meet Kev. Uh, also, yeah, and that was when that was when perfect. Kev was healthy. Yeah, I know. I get it. Um, I think his birthday was August sixth. I think so. He recently would have been sixty. Poor yeah. guy didn't even. I, I know. Uh, End of I, September. I okay, hold on. Stand by. Gonna try to take advantage of uh Anxana deal. Okay, hold on. Let me uh stand by and let me see. Because I think at the end of September I am gonna be in Krabi. However, I'm considering when I get to Krabi and I hang out for a while and then whatever, I'm considering just renting a car and basically driving to um driving to Phuket because the nice thing about Phuket is that you can rent a car and drive it there and leave it there because they're like, yeah, we need, you know, more cars here normally than we do. And it costs them basically nothing to have a guy drive it back. But, um, let me see. Okay. So this weekend, the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh, that's basically the long weekend. Uh, the following week on the ninth through the 20, basically for like 10 days, I'm down in Copanyan. Um, yeah. And then September 28th, I'm in Krabi. So yeah. So, but I'm there through October, like third or fourth. So, so yeah. So Dion, I mean, let us know it, man. It'd be really cool to hang out. And, um, I definitely hang out a hundred percent. Joseph says he turns 58 on Monday. So happy birthday. Uh, Look Joseph. At that, Joseph. Yeah. Happy birthday. Uh, early because I'm sure. I won't have a live stream before Monday, being this today is Sunday. <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna just go for all the rest of the day. I mean, I gotta go for an appointment. You know, you know what? I'll just do like a seven. I mean, with your apartment so clean now, one could argue that you could live stream for hours. One could argue that I could live stream for hours, and that is that is very very true. I'm very very interested to see if these 25 
uh, dollars come through over here um, on Stuck in Florida's challenge because when when he puts out a challenge, or the, it's almost always met, and um, I'm very interested to see. I, I'm just I'm just curious. Uh, I don't want to keep talking just for the sake of talking and just for the sake of hoping twenty five dollars comes in PayPal. Uh, <laughs> 20, but I, 25, 25. <laughs> yeah, but I am interested in it uh, be, simply because of traveling coming up this weekend. You know, whatever that's twenty five. He's going to put twenty. That's fifty five more dollars. Uh, you know, that's almost two thousand baht. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that's, dude. yeah, that's two, you know. That's, that's, it's easily two yeah. nights, right? Absolutely. Exactly. exactly. So I'm very, I'm very interested to see if, if uh, that happened. Normally, I wouldn't hang around for, uh, uh, for, for a PayPal thing, but th- th- that's, uh, that, that's something that, um, that would be useful. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Oh, it's eleven thirty. <laughs> uh, I got to cut it short, dude. So someone's got to basically send you twenty five bucks in the next minute. <laughs> Really? In the next minute? I got to go do interviews. I got to do, I got to get 1230. Yeah, I know. uh, I I know you said you had to. Uh, Okay. So Stuck in Florida has changed his, um, changed it and said five more dollars and I'll owe 20. Come on, guys. Piece of cake, five bucks. Absolutely. Yeah. Somebody send five and then he'll, uh, he'll push 20 through. I'm sure that'll happen at some point. Not worried. Uh, Tell you what, you take over the channel for a little bit. I'm going to do some stuff, and I'll be right back, and you can get your five bucks. Actually, we just got uh, <laughs> we just got ten dollars. I didn't see this. It. I didn't. I didn't see this. This is from. Well, I I can show it. This is from Joseph. <laughs> uh, ah, Joseph. dude, nice work. Joseph, you rock, man. Love Hi. you, man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I just just happened to look down and see that, and then I got uh, and there's the twenty from Stuck. I'm gonna cover his name up, and let me go this way with the phone. There it is, and um, <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. I give you a running total um, here in a second: twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, one hundred, twenty. 120, not including five dollars on super chat. <laughs> That's awesome, like boom, 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 boom. awesome sauce. Good for you, man. Congratulations. That's a great way to end today's stream. Dude, I'm so excited, man. That's like uh that's like the best way ever to end the live stream. And I just so you guys know, I would I would continue to talk a bit if there were uh things we could talk about and Mike wasn't out of time, but um I think you gotta go, bud, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I got to go. We got some interviews for the next podcast. Okay. All right. Well, uh, once again, thank you, Mike, for uh, having me on, brother. I love you, man. I appreciate you. And uh, um, I really, really, really appreciate it. And uh, to the uh, to the Do More Life family, uh, and including your family as well, Mike, um, I just want to say love you guys. I appreciate what you do. Um, I love the way you guys handled the um, slight problems we had with miserable people earlier today. Um, I really, really appreciate that and uh, your handling of it. It was absolutely great, fantastic. And um, we went again, boys. We went again. And awesome. I'm very excited. So uh, I will see you guys from Hataya, Thailand, uh, unless I decide to have maybe members only or a live stream through the week, uh, that kind of thing. So Whatever you guys do today, be sure you do more life. And if you haven't subscribed, go over and subscribe to the channel real quick because I got all kinds of stuff I'm planning on doing and all that good stuff. So, nice. Mike, dude. thanks again for having me. And, uh, you know, it is what it is, guys. Um, I love you all. That's all I can say. <laughs> That's so great. All right, guys, listen, thank you so much for joining us from the Big Mango. It's Mike's from LiveMyAssOff.com saying, I hope you're living the dream because if you are not living the dream, then you are potentially doing it wrong. And both me and Jeremy can help with that. <laughs> so hit us up. We Talk can- to you guys soon. Ciao. See you, bud.